Salutations everyone, hello, hello, how is everyone doing today? Yeah, well, last, last week we saw the downfall of the Takeda clan. Today we will witness the downfall of the, of the Westsugi clan. Well, not completely, the Westsugi will still remain relevant for this entire period, but they will lose the strength that they had before. But before they go down, we will see one last badass moment from them, because while the Westsugi clan is going to go down, just like Shingen, it won't be while the, the, the big guy is alive, that's for sure. Because uh, while Kenshin is alive, no one can touch the Westsugi clan. But yeah, so... To, to tell you guys what happened last time, we were playing as the Westsugi clan just to prevent the Battle of Tedorigawa to happen way earlier than it should. Uh, we, saw, we saw the Battle of Nagashino, where the Oda and the, to and the Tokugawa destroy the Takeda cavalry and uh, deliver a very, 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 very devastating blow on the Takeda forever. And the Takeda will begin to decline. Um, we also saw the Oda clan also start expanding westwards against the Mori. And that's, that will be very relevant today. We're gonna play as the Oda once again, because now uh, there's no like events that I need to prevent. Um, but yeah. So last time we took Nanao Castle as the Westsugi because that's what triggers the Battle of Tedorigawa. And we're gonna see the the aftermath of that right now as we begin. So other than that, we have again we have the Battle of Tedorigawa to look forward to, which is gonna trigger some other events in the West, which are gonna be very important. Uh, we we have a lot of stuff to do today. So as you can see, we have five years to play until the next scenario. And as you can see, the Oda clan gets a lot of territory in these five years. That's all territory that we need to capture. Well, at least try. Again, the goal is to see every single historical event. If we don't, ca if we, if we don't get all the territory, but we still see all the events, I'll consider that a victory. Kind of like how we did in the in the Dawn of, Revo of Revolution scenario, where I didn't really conquer all the territory that I wish that I should. But um, we saw all the events anyways. So it was all fine. So that's the goal. We have to, to conquer... We have to conquer... Kaga. We have to conquer... That territory up, up there. That the Westway controls. Uh, we have to go into Shinano and Kai. What else? Damn, we, we even have to go a little bit kind of here. In, in, towards the north, north of Kanto. Hopefully I'll get some of these automatically through the events, but we'll see. Let's see, I have to conquer this over here. And we have to uh, and steamroll the west, basically, against the Mori. I think we will get some of these automatically, but we'll see, we'll see. Because uh, if we can finish all of this today, hopefully we, c we can, it's a lot of content though. Uh, if we can finish all this today, Next stream is gonna be wild because, yeah, we're, we won't be able to finish the next scenario in one stream. That's for sure. We're gonna skip this one because this one is a fictional scenario, so we we, we can skip that one. But we have to play from 1582 all the way until to 16 to this to the year 160 uh, 1600. So that's a lot. But I think most of the events that play in this in in this scenario will be mostly focused on us, so it won't be much of a, much of a problem. But anyways, we're, we're reaching the end, actually. We're sh surely but slowly reaching the end of the game, which is nice. I'm very much looking forward to the last two scenarios, the Battle of Sekigahara and the Siege of Osaka, because... Uh, so I've, I've, I've taken a, a look into those scenarios, and apparently you even have, like, decisions that you have to make, and depending on the decisions that you make, it might change the events. It's it's pretty cool. I mean, we're gonna take the historical ones, but I think it was a very cool thing. I hope I hope in the in future games they implement a mechanic like that for all the scenarios. But anyways, without further ado, let's go. The Battle of Tedorigawa. We're gonna play as the Oda clan. Let's see. Let me see who are the leaders for a moment. Yep, Katsuyori is the leader of the Takeda clan. His father is already dead. Kenshin is alive, but as you saw last stream, he was sick. Right? He was sick. And that's gonna be relevant this stream. 
I'm surprised that the Honganji are still here. I thought we were supposed to have conquered them. I guess not. Anyways, let me just check if the VTubers are disabled. Okay, all, all the VTubers are disabled. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, we can we can go in. Here we go. Also, actually, now that I think about it, I should probably also do this, just in case characters that shouldn't die, die easily. But here we are. Alright. I haven't played this scenario yet, actually. <clears throat> Ten Shou Five, 1577. Oda Nobunaga sends a force led by Shibata Katsuie against Uesugi Kenshin, who was challenging the well fortified Noto Nanao Castle. That's what we did last stream. We took the castle. In Yamato, Matsunaga Isahide suddenly betrays Nobunaga and barricades himself inside Shigisan Castle. A force led by Oda Nobutada has now sieged his castle. Oda Nobutada is uh, Nobunaga's eldest son, by the way. Meanwhile, Hashiba Hideyoshi was on a mission to conquer the West, making his way from Arima, Harima. Alongside Hideyoshi was an extraordinary military strategist, Kuroda Kanbei. In Bizen, the mighty Ukite Na Ukita Naoye defeated his former lord, Uragami Munekage, securing his dominance of the Bizen region. We saw all of that last stream. Oh, we don't have the Oda clan uh, music anymore. We have the large clan music. And yeah, well, our territory is split into so many... So many provinces. I don't think we need all these provinces. Oh, well, I, I guess it's less micromanaging that I have to do. Mino and Oari are all being controlled by who? Who's controlling this? Actually, it could be a problem because I don't want... I don't want the AI just conquering things that they shouldn't, like, for example, I'm pretty sure my AI is going to immediately conquer this, I don't want that. If I can make them my vassals, I will. Yeah, I can. I'd rather make them my vassals, because at least if they are my vassals, at least nobody will attack them because I'm too strong. And at least they won't get eradicated, and their, their events will still play. So let's make the Anegakoji clan our vassals immediately. That will protect them, ironically. Let's see. So, okay. Uh, Nobutada. Nobutada is controlling Mino and Owari. Okay. And uh, Nobutaka. Nobutaka is the is Nobunaga's third son. Yeah, he's Nobu Nobunaga's third son. Um, I guess. So I guess Nobukatsu is, does not have anything. Well, Nobukatsu wasn't very competent though. Anyways, Nobutaka is controlling Toba and Ise. And really. Sakuma Nobumori has control of of Western Kansai. Interesting, because we're gonna see an event with uh, Sakuma Nobumori. Let's just say he's not gonna be he's not gonna be you know the province leader for long. That's for sure. And Shibata Katsuie controls you know the entrance here to Hokuriku. He has Echizen. All right, nice, nice, nice. And we control the capital. We control Omi. All around Lake Biwa. Nice, nice. We have Kanonji. We're probably gonna build Az Azuchi Castle. Alright, let's begin. We are rich. We are so rich. Holy shit. Alright, let's begin by enacting some policies to make conquests much more easily. Since we have the money for it, we may as well just go all out. Yes, enact all the policies. All of them. Irrigation maintenance, we have a lot of territory, so I need protection against natural disasters. Um, discretionary power assignment is also really good, because it allows the castles to build facilities on their own, without me having to tell them to. Uh, I also want small supply unit uh, small supply unit deployment. It will increase our, pro our, our provisions, so we can march for longer. I also want standing army, but I probably don't have many training, training rounds yet, so I'll leave it alone. I think I'll... I'll keep it as this. Let's see. Oh, wait. We have more vassals? 
Oh, we do. The Tsutsui are our vassals. Okay, nice, nice. The Matsunaga. Well, right. The Ma we can actually vassalize. Vassalage the Matsunaga, but we're not supposed to because the Matsunaga are supposed to have rebelled against us. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do anything. Because we're not supposed to do anything there. Let me see. Right, the Shogunate already moved over there. <laughs> I could make all these clans my vassals too. See, when you are a big clan, you can just make you can just make all the smaller clans submit to you, and then you just need to wait a little longer, and suddenly they'll all become yours. I think I'm gonna do that actually, because I feel like I don't need they. I think it's fine if they're like, okay. Let me let me take a look at the events that will happen. The Hiragumo Kettle is about to happen. Yeah, yeah. It will happen after the Battle of Tedorigawa. Oh, it's this. Affiliated. Okay. So we could actually make them our vassals. No problem. And it will still happen, I think. But it's alright. Oh, I won't do it. It won't, ma it won't matter. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will happen as well. Okay. I, w I just want to see if becoming a vassal can ruin something. I don't think it will. Which is good. Because if I, f if I can vassalage those territories, then I don't really need to conquer them. Because I can absorb those territories into my clan automatically, which is really, really good. It saves me the trouble from, you know, wasting troops fighting them. Mm -hmm. What's this? Let's hope this doesn't have, this, this doesn't screw up anything. Oh, we don't have Kuro the Kambe, that's why. Ah, he hasn't joined yet. Okay, I see, I see. Shimazu Shinsai. Right, we've seen that one. This one, this one plays every time. Battle of Miki. Let me see. Besho Clan, Besho Nagaharo. He exists. So I guess I guess I can vassalage them all, and it won't ruin anything. Oh wait, 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 wait! Never mind. Following clans and vassal other clans, Mori Ashikaga Honganji. Besho clan is not. Oh, okay, never mind. It's fine if they're our vassals. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Because I'm very scared of like ruining the, the history as it's supposed to. So I guess I will vassalage the Hatano, the Akai. The Ishiki clan and the Yamana clan. They're all mine. All mine. Because if I do this... Yeah, it's like a lot of territories that I don't need to conquer. Which is good. And uh, as you'll see later on, the Ukita will join us too. So suddenly we have the West in our control as well. Good, good, good. Oh, I can even vassalage the Tokugawa, really? We have a marriage alliance, so technically we don't have to do this. And, oh, wait, 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 there is actually a, an event that hasn't played yet. Um, the Tokugawa clan will be our vassal automatically, so I'm not gonna do anything. Okay, let's actually play the game now. Oh, we have so much money, that's insane. Okay, but I, wa I want to... Make sure. Oh, I can. I don't have system reform. Okay, never mind. Can't do that yet. Irrigation canal. Although maybe I should make a supply station because I want to have aid my troops. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I will do that. Well, maybe not. Not now because I'm not gonna march right at the moment. Let me see, what kind of, what, what officers do I have in Kanonji? A lot of them, actually. Oh, Ishida Mitsunari. 
山中鹿之助大谷義次細川忠興 OK I see I see and the size of Kani interest OK let me see OK I will take any win with Atmos Devotion because Atmos Devotion will increase the settlement seas uh, seas speed of every single county under this castle so that's good it's good for early game and everyone to develop a castle really fast that's what we're gonna do Kanonji is an amazing castle. Well, actually, should I start with money? I guess having money is always good. Since my provinces are the ones in the front lines, I can actually focus my uh, my Omi region here to be all for, you know, all for economy. Because most likely, Central Japan isn't gonna see much combat. Oh, there we go. I don't have to do anything. Nobu, Nobu Taka is gonna take Shingu. There we go. That's what I like to see. Take take care of the Suzuki. Only problem is that I'm pretty sure they're gonna conquer this as well, and I don't want them to conquer that. Because the Suzuki are supposed to be alive. I mean, there's no events with the Suzuki though. So even if I conquer them, nothing will happen. But the Suzuki are supposed to be alive. Okay, let's let's speed up things. Right, that that one is done. There we go, Mitsuhide and Hideyoshi can work on that. Nobutada and and uh, In Itetsu can take care of that. I guess I can also get bodyguard formation. Why not? It increases the honor that they get. I mean, I guess if the Sufu kill the Suzuki, that will be fine. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. The Battle of Tedorigawa. Oda Nobunaga sent an army led by Shibata Katsuya in a desperate attempt to save Nanao Castle from Wesugi Kenshin's assault. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, salutations, almighty. You have arrived right in time. We're gonna see wh what were the follow-up of what we did last stream. Last stream, we were playing as, as the Wesugi, and we took Nanao Castle, and now we're gonna see exactly what happens next. But it was too late. Nanao Castle had already fallen, had fallen, and Kenshin was headed southward to meet the Oda clan. A worthy opponent. If Kenshin marches our way, then we'll take him head on. No, it's too risky. A frontal assault against Kenshin would only end in greater losses for us. Shut up, coward! Have you forgotten who's in charge here? Bite your tongue and follow my orders. Will you not listen to reason? I won't sacrifice my soul ears on account of your, of your recklessness. Forgive me, but I'm taking my troops home. Farewell! Wait! Hideyoshi! I won't allow this! I'll have your head for insubordina uh, insubordination! Come back here! Defying a general's command was a, was a violation of the clan's code, and Hashiba Hideyoshi would face a severe admonition from Nobunaga. Yeah, Katsui and, and Hideyoshi didn't get along very well. Still, his judgment was correct. Shibata Katsuya would face Kenshin head-on at Tedorigawa River, only to suffer a crushing defeat. Also, I don't know why they write Tedorigawa, because every source that I see writes as, as Tedorigawa, so I don't get why is it called Tedorigawa here. But oh well. <laughs> is that all the Oda have to offer? Uh, you'll pay for this, you hear me? You'll pay! Though Kenshin boasted a force powerful enough to defeat Yoda, he chose not to continue the advance. Wait, really? That's it? They're not gonna tell what happened in the battle? I guess I'll have to do it myself. <laughs> Citing some issue of concern in Kanto, he withdrew his army. It seemed an irrational move on Kenshin's part, imparting a sense of panic to the decision. Perhaps it was a matter of related to his health. One might say that the Wesugi army's return to Echigo was a fate showing the Oda clan a small mercy after a long string of misfortunes. But God of War Wesugi Kenshin had once again proven his might at the Battle of Tetorigawa, and the reputation of the Oda clan would suffer for it. Okay, they didn't explain what happened here, so I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, 
So let me explain what happened in the Battle of Tedorigawa. So Kenshin, ad you know, invades all, all the territory with 30,000 troops, right? Meanwhile, Nobunaga has an army of 50,000 troops led by some of his best officers. You know, Shibata Katsuye is there, Akechi Mitsuhide is there, Hashiba Hideyoshi is there, Sasa Narimasa is there, Niwanaga Hide is there, and I think there's a bunch of others that I'm forgetting right now, right? But there's like a lot of veteran, like, experience or the generals, like, leading that army. And Nobunaga himself is also gonna be there, but he kind of arrives a little bit later. Uh, anyways, the, the, the army itself is like, controlled by Shibata Katsuye. So, the, 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 the battle is fought on the river, right? It's the Tedori Gawa, obviously, Tedori River, right? Because Gawa comes from Kawa River. Anyways, um, now the river, there were floodgates in that river, and the floodgates were uh, preventing the river from actually flowing properly. Now, what Nobunaga didn't know, what the other army didn't know, is that, uh, you see, the, the flood house was being already under control of the Westsugi troops. So Kenshin lured the, the other army onto his side by making it seem like his army was already split up, right? Because uh, because the other troops originally wanted to bombard the the Westsugi army with cannons from afar. But but when Nobunaga saw that, hmm, the Westsugi army split up, let's advance, let's kill them while there, there's only a few of them. But that's exactly what Kenshin wanted Nobunaga to think. So when, Nobu when, so when the, the other troops advanced and crossed the Tedori, the Tedori River, uh, Kenshin gave the signal for, for the, to open the, flood, the floodgates. And that's exactly what happened. The floodgates were open, the river started to flow, and a lot of, a lot of other troops were drowned in the river. Meanwhile, the other ones that had crossed were trapped and were being crushed by the, by the Westsuki troops. And uh, seeing this, Nobunaga just ordered the retreat. This was really bad, he, he ordered the retreat back to Omi, and he was willing to even forfeit all of his northern territories for Kenshin, just to stop his advance. But Kenshin did not pursue Nobunaga, Kenshin just returned home. And uh, it is said that Kenshin was very disappointed, because he wanted to see, you know, what, what Nobunaga was like, you know, because Nobunaga was kicking the Takeda clan's ass, and you know, the Takeda clan was like the mortal enemies of the, of the Westsui. So, Kenshin wanted to see just what this Demon King of the Sixth Heaven was like, right? And he was a bit disappointed, and then he drank himself to death. And died of illness. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what happened. Uh, Ken Kenshin, even with a smaller force, absolutely outsmarted Nobunaga. And again, Nobunaga and his generals, they were not, they're not bad generals, they're very good generals, very experienced, very smart too. But Kenshin just trivialize them completely and this is why Kenshin may as well be like the greatest military strategist in the entirety of Japanese history it's fitting to be called the god of war <laughs> alcohol is bad yeah Kenshin drank a lot he was he loved drinking anyways the Oda clan had conquered Kozuki castle in Harima now Nobunaga had called his chief retainers together to discuss who should be given worship of the castle Nobunaga actually didn't drink that much. Nobunaga didn't like drinking, I think. So he, he drank very rarely. Usually on like formal occasions, but that's kind of it. Kozuki should be given to the Yamago? For what reason? I think we saw this scene last, uh, last stream, but it's going to be more relevant this stream, so I'm going to read it anyways. Kozuki Castle is strategically positioned between Harima, Bizen, and Mimasaka. There isn't a single person in all of the Chugoku region who doesn't know its name. It wouldn't be a bad choice to have Lord Shikanosuke take over. Because <laughs> drinking the alcohol is not cool. Uh, you know, I think if, you, if, you're, if you're someone who has control of yourself and you can do it in moderation, it can be fine, right? It, it, it's when it gets to, you know, very much, emo you know, to, a, to a, an extent where you're not having control of yourself or you're doing it out of peer pressure, or you're pressuring others to do it, that's when I think it's bad. Uh, I personally don't drink, right? But I have no problems with, like, my friends drinking. Uh, my friends, they also control themselves, they know their limits and all that. And they don't peer, they don't pressure me to do it, so... It's all good. <clears throat> Speak honestly, Mitsuhide. Installing an outsider like Skanuski on the front lines will prevent our own troops from suffering losses, correct? 
That is a rather blunt way to put it, but I do not deny that that is also true. Then it's decided. Ozuki Castle will be given to Shikanosuke. He will not forget this favor. It would bring about his long-desired revival of the Amago. Hmm, but this is only the beginning of his trials. You'll have to fight against those vile Mori. Mori. Thus, Lord and Vassal Amago Katsuhisa and Yamanaka Shikanosuke took Kozuki Castle. The Amago clan had finally been restored. I'm grateful to Lord Oda for his kindness. However, this castle stands directly in front of the enemy. We must be prepared to defend ourselves. But that enemy is none other than the Mori. This is the prime location for us to take revenge. The tale of the Yamago clan's revival did not end with the bestowal of Kozuki Castle upon Katsuhisa and Shikanosuke. They would still have to fight a harrowing battle against their sworn enemy, the Mori. Yeah, that, that, that's not going to end well for them. <laughs> Oda clan occupies Kozuki Castle. Amago, Amago clan, Daimyo, Amago Katsuhisa is formed. Amago clan becomes a vassal of the Oda clan. There we go. Where are they? They're right here, Kozuki Castle. They are in the front with the, with the Ukita clan. Anyways, the Shin size letter. We've seen this already. But I guess this is the last time where they're gonna spam us with this scene, so fine, I will read it anyways. The man who restored the Shimazu clan was Jishinsai, Sh Shimazu Jishinsai. He praised Shimazu Takahisa's second son, Shimazu Yoshihiro, as an outstanding hero, both brave and intelligent. Yoshihiro's military prowess would earn him the position of commander-in-chief of the Shimazu army, military. In a time when war was valued above all else, he stood out with a striking brilliance. Among his siblings, Yoshihiro is clearly the most adept at war. In these turbulent times, nothing is more important than victory on the battlefield. Am I really the most fit to lead the Shimazu? While Yoshihiro fought on the front lines, Shimazu Yoshihisa, as the clan's leader, often stood at the rear. He was generally regarded as a quiet and reserved, as quiet and reserved, letting his retainers take credit for the clan's achievements. My lord, may I have a moment? Oh, Toshihisa. What is it? I have found this. I found this while straightening up the storehouse. A letter? Addressed to me? From Lord Jishinsai? I must excuse myself. What could Lord Jishinsai have wanted to tell me? Good begets evil, and evil may good create. Seek your hearts to know the truth. Know that shame may dwell, may dwell within. If I judge something to be good to be evil, it is evil. If I judge something evil to be good, it is good. That is my responsibility as a leader. You must love all people. Fudo myo o and Aizen myo o both appear enraged, but in their hearts they have loved for the world. Mistakes come with the opportunity for guidance, which can provide nourishment. Ignoring mistakes may seem a mercy at a time, that will become a seed that will later poison the body. For the sake of Satsuma, for the sake of the Shimazu, set aside your pride and correct your mistakes. One can be angry without having rage in their, heart, in their heart, and at times must resist such rage. But no matter the case, reason and rule must be obeyed. Possess a kind heart which does not bring harm to others. Display strength which does not hesitate to right mistakes. This is what true compassion is. Yoshihiro is a straightforward man. He lives and fights by the impulses in his heart. This is fine. But you, Yoshihisa, are the only man capable of ruling the three states with true compassion. Thank you, Lord Jishinsai. Your words have given me strength. Shimazu Jishinsai's evaluation of Shimazu Yoshihisa was as follows. Yoshihisa is a man who possesses virtue and intelligence worthy of ruling the three states. He was prepared to sacrifice himself for his clan at any given moment. Only a man like that could follow in the footsteps of Shishinsai as leader of the Shimazu. Until the end of his days, Shimazu Yoshihiro, a warrior of rare talent whose bravery would be known throughout the land, also said this of his older brother. It is an honor beyond what I deserve to have been born in the, the younger brother of Lord Yoshihisa. There we go, Yoshihisa. You have nothing 
to fear. You are you are fit for your position. Everyone trusts you. All right, let's see what's going on with the Chosokabe. The Chosokabe were taking over all of uh, all of uh, Skoku. Let's see. Ah, oh, I think I know this. We saw this event last time as well, I think. Yeah. Located in the center of Skoku, Hakuchi Castle had vital strategic importance. To the east was Awa, where the Miyoshi clan's main base of Shouzui Castle stood, while Sanuki was situated to the north and Io to the west. After he fell the central castle, Chosokabe Motochika went to visit the nearby Unpenji Temple, the 66th sacred temple of Skoku. Hakuchi Castle is the point which connects Awa, Sanuki and Io. From this location, we can send our soldiers anywhere. Ah, and what do you intend to have your soldiers do? How would the temp how would a person of the temple proceed? A person such as myself? I have never given it any thought. In these times of war, it, it isn't rare to see a priest brave the battlefield. <laughs> yep, <laughs> Kenshin, Shingen, Kenyo, and a bunch others. It wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to entertain the possibility. Indeed, in that case, if it were up to me, I would gather my soldiers and return to Tosa. Hmm? And why is that? People have their limits. The lead of a tea kettle will not cover a water pail. As such, the lead of Tosa cannot cover all of Skoku. To reach beyond your means is to invite disaster. I believe it would be wise to send your soldiers back. I see. But tell me what you think of this. If the lead of the tea kettle was cast by a master artisan, no matter how small it was, it would cover any pail. Oh? In the hands of a priest, Tosa may not prove capable of covering Skoku. But in the hands of a master artisan such as myself, it could cover even more than Skoku. It could cover all of the world. Well, that would be quite the extra extraordinary lead by, made by the, quite the extraordinary man. Such an artisan exists. Would you like to know his name? I would. Please, do tell. <laughs> Maybe another time. Besides, one day that name will be known throughout the world. What an interesting man. I look forward to seeing what you will achieve, Lord Motochika. Hmm, he's very confident of his own abilities, huh? <laughs> Anyways, let's monitor the situation here. I guess if my if my provinces decide to conquer Saika, I'm not gonna prevent them. It's fine. The Suzuki clan has no events with them. I want them to take over Hi Hishiyama though. That's what I want them to take over. Although we haven't seen the battle of Kiz Kizu Kizugawate though, I think. I think it's supposed to happen next year. Ah there we go. War is spreading across the lands. May all the people on the land put their trust in me. Nobunaga! Tenkafubu! There we go, system reform. Alright, let's let's get more policies. There we go. Let's get another system reform. A dawn of revolution, should we get this? No, no, that takes too much money. So let's not. We need to incre in incre improve our economy for that first. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do this Small unit, small supply unit deployment. That's good. More provisions. All right. Bodyguard formation. There we go. Oh. Ah, there we go. The follow-up of the Battle of Tedorigawa is here. The other army were handed a resounding loss at Tedorigawa by Uesugi Kenshin, Hashiba Hideyoshi, who had clashed with Shibata Katsuya before the battle and withdrawn his battalion without permission was enduring a harsh reprimand from Nobunaga. Yep, yeah. Nobunaga hates disobedience. He absolutely hates disobedience. That's like a thing with him. Wait, let me drink some water. Ah, much better. The punishment for deserting your allies in the face of the enemy is death. What do you have to say for yourself? I could not bring myself to abide by Lord Shibata's plan. His devastating failure is proof of his lacking judgment. Fool! I am the one who put Katsuya at the head of my army. Do you mean to criticize my judgment? 
uh, that was not my intention in the slightest. Uh, my decision what was to withdraw was an unforgivable, unforgivable mistake. I accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate. Then prepare to die. However, there is one thing. Uh, just one thing I wish for you to hear. Uh, it is an urgent matter, I'm afraid. What? Out with it. Rather than from myself, I think it's it best you hear from the, new, the news from uh, Kanbei. Uh, uh, Kanbei, step forward! Yes, my lord. Kuroda Kanbei, why are you here? I have come to inform, to inform you about a grave situation in Harima. Will you lend me your ear, my, my lord? Kanbe reported that upon the recent advancement by the Mori clan, many clans in Harima who had bowed to the Oda were considering breaking away. If you ask me, Shogun Ashikaga Yoshiaki who now resides in Tomo is behind, uh, behind it all. That rotten bastard. I thought he died already. So Kanbe, what do we do? We ought to quell the disturbances in Harima. We'll need to send the best of the Oda to ensure our success. For that reason, I believe we must send none other than Lord Hashiba Hideyoshi. <laughs> this is a joke. You're trying to use Kanbei to wriggle your way out of punishment. I mean no disrespect, my lord, but... While I am sincerely prepared to receive my punishment, I believe I am the only capable of restoring order in Harima, though I do not deserve such responsibility. <laughs> Fine. And your punishment for deserting your post will be confinement for a day. Oh, I'm grateful before war, beyond words. As soon as your day is up, you march for Harima. You are to restore order to the tribes causing this disturbance. Fight the Mori and crush that scheming shogun's plans. It will be done. And there we go. Just like that, Hideyoshi saves himself. Whew, you really saved me there, Kanbei! And the honors go to you, Lord Hideyoshi. That was the performance of a lifetime. What has happened? Did our plans come to fruition? Look at me, Hanbei! My head still sits on my shoulders! Does it not? It was a huge success! Your plan was genius, Lord Hanbei. Lord Nobunaga has put Lord Hideyoshi back in charge of the attack on Chugoku. I'm glad to hear it all went as planned. Quick, we must waste no time in preparing our next steps. Ah, uh, that, that Hideyoshi is very, is very shrewd, huh? <laughs> I like Hideyoshi a lot, though. Hideyoshi had fled in the face of the enemy, an offense worthy of execution. Y yet, Nobunaga had all but overlooked his crime and even trusted him to handle the situation in Chugo. However, neither Hanbei nor Kanbei could anticipate the hardships that would await Hideyoshi in this, in this expedition. Yeah, we're about to see a lot of Hideyoshi this stream. And I, I, I'm all for it. Again, dude, Hideo Hideyoshi's uh, exploits are very fun. The guy was really smart. He seems like a buffoon, right? But he's really smart. Like, he, he was probably one of Nobunaga's smartest generals. Easily one of the smartest ones. Let me see... I mean, the reason he was a peasant and he rose to samurai because Nobunaga recognized his his uh, his worth. Let's, see, let's make another irrigation canal. Oh, and look at that! It seems that our province is preparing to attack Ishiyama. Let's go! That's what I want to see. Go get them, no Nobumori. I think that's the one that, that, that's in there. I think so. Oh, Kurita. Ah, okay, I see. Alright, let's put someone in charge of Kurita. Kuroda Kanbe. Well, Kanbe is supposed to go with Hideyoshi, but... It's fine, let's... Let's put someone with utmost devotion first and foremost. Alright, let's see. I will also give... I want to give Kanbe... Something. Here. Take this. This will make him completely loyal to me now. You wanna know something funny about about tea? Tea utensils were very much like valued between samurai. Nobunaga was a big fan of tea as well. Um He he ended up having a lot of uh, 
Tea Master Som Sakai. Oh, what's going on? He's like one of my friends. He's, slithering, he's a slithering snake acting like a clown. But in reality, he's smart and most of the time try to fool people to work less. But it's not working for me. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can discern the true nature. I don't know, let's see. Intelligence. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, we have a spot. I think we have a spot. Yes, we do. Minakuchi. Nice. He hates me because I know he's smart. He's a smart ass, and I always harsh <laughs> on him. He can. I he can't hide from you! That is fun though. That sounds like a funny dynamic. <laughs> but uh, as I was saying, so about tea. Um, um, Nobunaga ended up having a lot of tea masters from Sakai become like close to him. And uh, he would like get like tea utensils from him. And he would deliver those tea utensils to like his uh, retainers as rewards. But now, Samurai, Samurai became like, you know, the kind to really value tea utensils, and I think it's something that Nobunaga kind of started, a trend, because here's what Nobunaga did. He forbid everyone from doing tea ceremonies, right? So because people were forbidden from doing tea ceremonies, they didn't really care about tea. Nobunaga would would hold tea ceremony would hold tea ceremonies with the tea masters that he that he had at his side, and because he had forbidden everyone from uh, from making tea ceremonies, Nobunaga would sometimes, as a as a reward, give give uh, invite some of his uh, retainers to tea ceremonies, and even give them some tea utensils so that they themselves could be allowed to do tea ceremonies. So that became like a huge honor for his retainers to be invited and even be able be allowed to do tea ceremonies on their own, right? So because of this, suddenly tea utensils started being super valuable amongst like samurai, right? Because of this, because oh, I, I am now allowed to do this. My lord allows me, and he gave me a tea set. So suddenly Nobunaga can like reward people without having to give them lands and stuff. Just A. You know, I could give you, like, lands, but... Mm, nah, here, take a tea set. How about that, hmm? And people are like, oh, yeah, that's very valuable. Hell yeah. So there we go. Nobunaga was very, very smart. Very, very smart. Like, sometimes he might be portrayed as just a ruthless warlord, but he was way more than that. He was a very, very smart person. A, a very sh a shrewd politician. A, a, a very smart statesman. Like, he... he his, his economical policies were very, very good. He made the economy thrive in his clan. He he he, he abolished like uh, like uh, a pay, pay, pay tolls, uh, like uh, you know the tolls where you pay for things, and allowed for, like the merchants to freely come in and out of his territory. And he abolished the monopoly that the nobles and the temples had over like uh, like commerce as well, because they kind of you know. Oh, you can only do commerce here. You can't do anywhere else. No, he just allowed people to do commerce wherever they want. And uh, he basically gave the samurai class more power of, over commerce, and that ended up being very good for him. He also prioritized taking over, like, trade ports and things like that. He also improved roads. He made sure that roads would be improved so that, um, so that um, uh, travel could be much, much easier for, uh, for, like, both his troops, right? And also for merchants. And at the same time, he was very, very severe when it comes to making sure that the, his territory was safe, safe. Like, he was very, very ruthless against brigands and bandits. Because he wanted, like, commerce to thrive and people to travel, you know, safely. So, he took care of pretty much the bandits. It, it, like, the Owari province became so safe that the merchants could, like, sleep on the road with their valuables and still be fine. That's how safe his territory beca became. Because, again, Nobunaga was really, 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 really severe when it comes to dealing with, with banditry. Because he really didn't want, like, the commerce to be affected by it. 
So yeah, this is just a few of the things that Nobunaga had beyond just being, you know, a ruthless warlord. There was a lot. There's a lot of good points to him. <clears throat> Kuroda Kanbei's tactical skills had grown rapidly since he met Hashibe Hideyoshi, and of course, he he didn't really care of, of your rank. He doesn't care if you're a samurai, a noble, or whatever. If you are someone of ability, he would like he would put you at his side, which is why Hideyoshi became a samurai because Hideyoshi was a peasant. Uh, and, uh, and Mitsuhide as well. Mitsuhide was like a ronin for a long time, and he didn't care about that. In turn, Hideyoshi would come to admire Kanbei and rely heavily on the newcomer's budding talents. Following after Hideyoshi in rank were samurai such as his younger brother, Hidenaga, Kuro Hachisuka Kuroku, uh, yeah, and Takenaka Hanbei. Kanbei's lot had certainly improved. Lord Kanbei, are you worried about something? Oh, if it isn't Lord Takenaka Hanbei. No, I wouldn't say that I'm worried. I was only thinking as, an, as a newcomer, it's been a privilege to receive so much attention from Lord Hideyoshi. Still, compared to my seniors, my wages are rather... wanting. I am a retainer. Without my own land to govern, I am unable to work. Ah, so you wish to earn more. You've no need to worry. Anyone as talented as yourself is bound for success in this life. Oh, but I am not worried. In fact, I've recently received a letter of commendation straight from Lord Hideyoshi. His words to me were kind and warm. I have water I have waterproofed the letter with oil, and I keep it on my person as good as a good luck charm. Is that so? Can I have a look at the letter? The letter to Kanbei from Hideyoshi read It fills me to with boundless joy to have you in my ranks. You have my absolute trust. I think of you as my brother as much as I do Hidenaga. I believe that you will achieve great things. Isn't it heartwarming? Will there be a leader more kind? After receiving this letter, I've decided to devote the rest of my life to following Lord Hideyoshi. However, I can't help but think of my wages. <laughs> Hanbei, ignoring Kanbei's arrogant remarks, tore the letter to shreds and tossed its pieces into the furnace to burn. What are you doing? My letter! My lucky charm! Lord Hanbei, you reek of jealousy! What grudge do you bear against me? Explain yourself! Please excuse my crass actions. I hear what I and hear what I have to say, Lord Kanbei. In that letter, Lord Hideyoshi said he thinks of you as his brother. <laughs> what an ass! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's gonna explain himself. He's gonna explain himself. In that letter, Lord Hideyoshi says said he thinks him thinks of you as his brother. And is not is that not an expression of Lord Hideyoshi's affection towards me? It is not. You and Lord Hideyoshi are not brothers. You are, you are lord and vassal. How could you be akin to siblings? <laughs> Don't get parasocial, Kanbei. You understand? You understand? <laughs> <You're g> <laughs> wait, Kanbei. Kanbei. Kanbei is a... Uh... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What's the word? I'm forgetting the word for some reason. No, it's not a unicorn. Wait, it's... It's a different word. It's a gachkoi. Kanbei is a gachkoi. <laughs> He's not. You and Lord Hideyoshi are not brothers. You are Lord and Vassal. How could you be akin to siblings? If Lord Hideyoshi one day comes to rule all the lands, you would you would then be the brother of the great unifier. This would undoubtedly be, be cause Lord Hideyoshi to view you with hostility, bringing strife into your pure relationship with Lord of Lord and Vassal. We must not allow that to occur. The contents of that letter would one day generate a storm. That is why I did what I did. Forgive me. Lord Hanbei, your words have opened my eyes. I was wrong. To think of myself as brothers with Lord Hideyoshi was pure vanity. Lord Hanbei, I need your guidance. Help me overcome my flaws. I'm pleased to see you have taken my words to heart. Rest assured that you have my support. We will work together. However, I reckon your talents are superior to mine. The time when you will be considered a peerless tactician may be not be far off. I will burn the Louis acrylic figure in front of Ying and tell him the same thing. Oh boy. <laughs> Ni hao. Ni hao, randomness. How are you? Hey, hey, I can read those words. I learned I can write those words too. Let's go. <laughs> 
Hakanaka Hanbei and, Kuro and Kuroda Kanbei demonstrated their extraordinary skill together in their service to Hashiba Hideyoshi. Now, I I've been having a lot of fun learning Chinese, actually. It's, it's been great. It's been a, a really, really great. They would become known as the Two Hanbeis, a moniker symbolic of the extent of their talent. Oh ho ho. Actually, I'm gonna have my mid my Chinese midterm like in two weeks from now. I'm gonna have to study hard for it. Although I'm 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 doing I'm doing pretty fine though. And I've been able to keep up just fine. <clears throat> Hashiba Hideyoshi had entered had entered Arima, successfully expanding all the territory through means both severe and benign. But as skilled as Hideyoshi was, his expansion left the lands of Harima in, in disarray. Soon enough, the tensions he introduced would boil over. Lord Hideyoshi, I bear heel tidings. What is it? Beshu Nagaharu, Lord of Miki Castle, has decided to defect with the help of the Mori. Is that so? Uh, there have been divisions within the Beshu clan. It would seem the faction that opposes us has gained control. Please, no Chinese literature. <laughs> I, I think I'm still too far away from that. <laughs> uh, still, though, I, I'm still getting used to the pinyin. But still, I can say this is a is an ice cream. Jiaoshi Bing Chi Bing Chi Lin. My actions were insufficient. Perhaps I was too hasty. It has as little it has as little good to dwell on the past. Miki Castle is an important location, connecting all the territory with Harima. If we don't do something, our supply lines will be cut. Lord Nobunaga has ordered us to surround Miki Castle immediately with the Setsu tribe support. Yes, yeah. The Setsu tribe! That's Lo Lord Haraki and his men! That is, that is reassuring! We'll make for Miki Castle at once! Hideyoshi, leading the Oda army, formed a blockade around Miki Castle. With the help of Araki Murashige and the Setsu tribe, he believed that the castle would easily fall. However, the situation would not unfold exactly as anticipated. What is this? Now even Lord Araki refuses to comply? Yes, it is said that he plans to join the Morian and Honganji clans in rebelling against Lord Nobunaga. Oh, good. Goodness, another one. <laughs> Everyone rebels against Nobunaga. Let's go! <laughs> oh boy. Maintaining control over Setsu is difficult. Lord Nobunaga has too many enemies, and too many tribes are loyal to the Honganji. Perhaps he was moved by the Beshu's defiance, that hopeless man. Lagging all over the place right now, so the comments are behind? Oh. Let me see. Um, you, uh, YouTube by default has a delay though, so it, it could also be that. My internet today is actually doing pretty fine. Perhaps he was moved by by the best show's defiance, that hopeless man. With both Miki Castle and the Araki clan in Arioka having changed the allegiances, we've been completely cut off from the Oda domain. Lord Hideyoshi, these circumstances were caused by my failure to stabilize our rule over Harima. Would you allow me to take care of it? What do you plan to do? Fortunately, the claims of Lord Araki's defection are only rumors at present. He has made no moves yet. I am an old acquaintance of his. I will try to persuade him against rebelling. Is that not dangerous? Can a person on the verge of rebellion really be talked out of it? Lord Hideyoshi, I would like to second this request. Please give Lord Kanbei the chance to rectify the situation. Come on, well, if, Kan if Hanbei insists, I'll allow it. See to it, Kanbei. Do what you can to try and change Lord Araki's mind. Understood. Was that the right decision? Kanbei seems overly invested in this matter. Your finals are coming to an end? No, 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 no. My, my midterms are coming. My, 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 my midterms will start next week. It was right. If Lord Kanbei is to become a military strategist of my stature, he must be able to clean this up himself. 
I have not so many years left. I was lucky to have met Lord Kambe before my time came. Fine, fine. I'll trust Kambe to handle Lord Araki. We need to focus on the attack on Mickey Castle. Araki Murashige's revolt in Setsu cut Hideyoshi's lines on communication with Nobunaga in the capital. But it was not only isolation that Hideyoshi would suffer. The last final exam is coming next Monday. Ooh, good luck. Good luck in it. The revolt also had an effect on their rule over Tamba and the attack on the Honganji. These situations would require the attention of the entire Oda army. With Kanbei approaching Araki Murashige alone while Hideyoshi and Hanbei surrounded the Besho clan's Miki castle, both parties were left in desperate straits. Ho ho! Oh! What happened? Oh! Kuroda Kanbei had come to Arioka castle alone in hopes that his history with Araki Murashige would deter him from defecting. Lord Murashige, I beg you to reconsider. Even with the help of Setsu and Amori, you won't stand a chance against Lord Nobunaga. If any would know this to be true, it is you. Your talents are similar to his. You must know what he is capable of. You really mean that? Yes, my lord. Even at this time, Lord Nobunaga is ready to overlook this disagreement. Please, come with me. <laughs> of course, my, my talents can indeed be likened to, that, though, to those of Lord Nobunaga's. That's how I know how weak he is. And you are no different. You believe that people act on reason alone. No, you believe that you can use reason to make them act. But you can't. Reason does not govern the world. It does not even govern Setsu. You cannot control the world with reason. Reason is what causes people to suffer. For 10 years, I suffered between the reasonable and the absurd. I know all too well the oppression of reason. But now, that man will endure the same suffering, and so will you, Kanbei! What? What are you? Take him away! Throw him in the dungeon! You fool! What do you think you will come of this? Have you lost your mind, Lord Murashige? <laughs> Am I really the fool here? I'm not the one who's gotten trapped in his own schemes! Trapped in my schemes? I've kept a report with your superior in Harima, Konera Masamoto, for a long time now. Don't expect me to return you alive. What? Why would you do something so stupid? <laughs> stupid? What do you think of stupidity, Kanbei? This world is full of stupid things and stupid people. G <laughs> <laughs> it was immediately communicated to Nobunaga that Kuroda Kanbei had, had been taken prisoner in Hario Arioka Castle. Dungeon? Deep dark fantasy fucking <laughs> slaves get your back. <laughs> uh, Damn that. That laugh took my breath. Whew. Seeing it as a betrayal on the part of Kanbei, Nobunaga directed his fury at the Kuroda clan. What? Lord Nobunaga is ordering the beheading of Shoujo Maru? Shoujo Maru was Oda Nobunaga's hostage and the eldest son of Kuroda Kambe. He would later be known as Kuroda Nagamasa. The guy with the shovel helmet. We, Kuroda, have been and will always remain loyal. Would you please convey this to Lord Nobunaga? It would probably be a futile effort. Hanbei! Once Lord Nobunaga is given an order, his mind cannot be changed. Everyone knows it. Worse, if you were to give this message to him, if we were to give this message to him, he might see it as an act of rebellion, pushing him to wipe out the Kuroda entirely. He wouldn't. I am responsible for this as well. I encouraged Lord Kanbei's plan and persuaded Lord Hideyoshi to approve it. If there is anyone who should bear the burden of this order, it is I. Taking a child's life is no easy thing. Are you sure about this? I am prepared. Now I must take my leave. Lord Hideyoshi! You have no need to worry. 
everything will be taken care of. What do you mean? You will know in time. For now, be at ease. Takenaka Hanbei, believing that Kuroda Kanbei was innocent, lied to Nobunaga about Chojo Maru's execution and brought him to safety. To not only the fire ruler as fierce as Oda Nobunaga, but to continue to hide the deception from him took extraordinary bravery and cunning. And the only man with the capacity for it was Takenaka Hanbei. It is no wonder he had the reputation as Hanbei, the inscrutable. There we go, they're, they're, uh, they're hiding Chojo Maru. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, okay, there we go. Finally, we're gonna see the downfall of Matsunaga Isahide. The Hiragomo Kero. After Uesugi Kenshin gained a significant victory over the Oda army at Tedorigawa, those whose confidence in the Oda clan's future had begun to wane were further shaken. The first to act was Matsunaga Isahide, who joined forces with the Uesugi army and rebelled against Nobunaga. To have suffered such a stunning defeat to the likes of the Uesugi, Nobunaga is no match for the late Lord Nagayoshi. I have chosen the wrong side. I will cut our ties and strike out on my own. I myself will surpass Lord Nagayoshi and become the ruler of the capital. Isahide renounced his allegiance to Nobunaga, allied with the Uesugi, and confined himself to his castle in Shigisan to prepare for war. Hisahide, that bastard. How dare he betray me and align with Kenshin? Nobutada, surround Shigisan at once. Sir, take as many soldiers as you need. Lay siege to Shigisan and show him no mercy. Crush his spirits. If Hisahide should surrender, what would you have us do? Accept and order him to hand over the Hiragumo. Ah. The Hiragumo tea kettle. I wonder if he will comply. If he has any sense, then he will. But given the recent course of events, I have reason to doubt that he does. Soon after, a large army led by Oda Nobutada formed a blockade around Shigisan Castle. Gah! He came so quickly. The Westsugi should not have, been, have withdrawn so quickly. But it's too late to go back to Nobunaga now. Even if he was willing to accept my surrender, I'll stand my ground until the very end. And so began the battle of wills between Oda Nobunaga and Matsunaga Isahide. That's a foolish errand, Mats Isah Isahide. And there we go. Matsunaga Isahide's final moments. The stalwart stronghold of Shigisan Castle had endured the savage onslaught of the Oda army. Nevertheless, its end was approaching. Shigisan Castle, Matsunaga Isahide's personal quarters. My lord, a messenger from the Oda clan has come. Let them enter. Go on, speak your purpose. Sir, Lord Nobunaga writes, I would like to hear in detail the reasons for your rebellion. Come to Azuchi bearing the Hiragumo kettle. Come bearing the Hiragumo kettle? Don't make me laugh. I will not go. I have nothing to tell them, less of all any so-called reasons. They came so quickly, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, understood. <laughs> I'll show that Nobunaga. I'll show him where the road of my desire leads. After sending the messenger back to the Oda clan, Matsunaga Isahide gathered all the tea kettles he had in Shigisan, the castle he had built with his own hands. Nobunaga, you have me cordoned cornered. I cannot deny being impressed, but the frustration is appalling. If I had been born just ten years earlier, Lord Nagayoshi and I would have never let you in the capital. Alas, I waste my breath. The land shall be yours, but you will not take what is only mine, neither my head, nor these kettles. The next time we meet Nobunaga, we'll be in the bowels of hell! This is the final desire of the one whose desires must go unmet. One by one, Isahide smashed the tea kettles Nobunaga had repeatedly demanded. Then, he took the broken pieces of his prized possession, the Hiragumo kettle, and laid them atop his person. Finally, he ordered the tower to be set aflame. The tower he put his soul into constructing, the tea kettles he painstakingly collected, they would all depart with him. Matsunaga Isahide, 
the notorious villain of his era, ended his life in a fiery blaze. Nobunaga's Castle Matsunaga Isahide, an interesting man to the bitter end. He had the strength to support my cause while possessing a nature wild enough to do me in. Two opposing forces in one person. That is what made him so interesting. But I have no need for someone like that. That's why I let him be, allowing him to choose his own way. And this is what happened. What I desire is one who could take the world with their own hands. And in the end, you couldn't do that, could you, Izahide? <laughs> that is the difference between you and I. Nobunaga, you had me court. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> Damn, that was a lot of events. Araki clan, Daimyo, Araki Murashige is formed. Besho clan, Oda cl and other clans alliance, marriage alliance and vassalage are terminated. The following clans form alliances. Araki clan and Honganji clan. Araki clan and Moi clan. Araki clan and Besho clan. Araki clan and Ashikaga clan. Besho, cl Besho clan and Honganji clan. Besho cl clan and Mori clan. Besho clan and Ashikaga clan. Basically, they hate us. Kam Kambei captured. Kuroda Kambei vanishes. Akamatsu clan and Oda clan's alliance, marriage alliance and vassalage are terminated. The following clans form alliances. Akamatsu clan and Mori clan. Akamatsu clan and Ashikaga clan. Akamatsu clan and Besho clan. Akamatsu clan and Araki clan. Matsunaga is Ahide's final moments. Matsunaga clan is annihilated and affiliated officers are added to Oda clan. Matsunaga is Ahide dies. There we go. We got Shigisan, woo! But yeah, as you can see, the Akamatsu clan is not ours anymore. The Besho clan is not ours anymore. And uh, the, Ara the Araki clan over here is not ours anymore either. We lost all of this. They were all our vassals, not anymore. And then, as you can see, the Amago clan now is like alone here. Fortunately, I like got all these to be my vassals. But still, things are not looking good. Also, I lost my province here. But we have control of them, so it's fine. Alright, let's appoint a castle ward for Shikisan. Let's see, who's gonna control Shikisan? Sakuma Nobumori? I guess I could do that. Yeah, indeed, I could. I'm gonna do that. Ara ara. Ara ara, mama. <laughs> Anyways. Ooh, Akechi Hidemitsu. It's a good one. Alright, I'll let you be the leader over here, Nobumori. Yeah, and you can have Hidemitsu with you. Actually, no, I'd rather have Hidemitsu together with his cousin. There we go. Let's see, on the offensive, Ikeda Katsumasa. Ikeda Ka Gamuya. Oh, I have Gamuya Suhide. We need to put him in charge of a castle, he's really good. I guess... There we go, we can do this. Hakaya needs more people. Hakaya is a very good castle, so I'd rather put someone else in control of it. Anyways... Akech Hidemitsu. You go with your cousin, because you can buff each other. Alright. Expand, mark... Oh, we don't have the labor, I think. No, we don't. Okay, what kind of events will come next? I need to know when I can start going and conquering things. Let me see, where's the Honganji? Ishiyama... Ishiyama... Also, we still don't have Azuchi Castle. Oh... It's done. Okay. Nobuyasu Affair... I wanna see where's the Honganji. Ah, okay. This one is, will happen soon. Okay. So I cannot defeat the Honganji yet. There's still a lot of Honganji events that will happen. So honestly, it's a good thing that um, this is not a province anymore. I can keep all the people alive that need to be alive. Right? They, they just incited a revolt here. Ugh. Still don't have the labor. Yoroshiko. Yoroshiko. 
ゃん Akayama Ukon Hey You're supposed to be with me Oh well Oh, what's going on? More stuff is happening? Hanbei's fi final moments Ah Right, he's gonna die I think he died of tuberculosis I'm not sure I think it was tuberculosis that killed him Oda clan A Hashiba's encampment Takenaka Hanbei, the tactician who had fought alongside Hashiba Hideyoshi, had fallen ill. So he returned to the capital to receive medical treatment. Or so everyone thought. Hanbei? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the capital resting! There's no need for concern. I have seen a doctor. What did he say? It's too late. I don't have much time left. What? No! Well... Those might not have been the doctor's exact words, but it is how it sounded to my ears. I'm astonished the doctor would give you up so easily. Did he not at least advise you to get some more rests? They did, but I am a warrior. I would rather die on the battlefield than on my back on a tatami mat. Don't be absurd, Hanbei. You must he heed the advice of your doctor. I cannot send you to fight. Lord Hideyoshi, I know where I am to die. This is the way of a samurai. I can't understand this samurai nonsense! I suppose it's because I was never really a warrior from the start! Is he with the Wekma? <laughs> no, Hideyoshi. You are a warrior true. You are the strongest and finest samurai I've ever known. <laughs> you flatter me with your lies, but I suppose that's one of your specialties. Lord Hideyoshi, after I die, I want you to put your trust in Kuroda Kambe. He will look over you in my stead. What's all this now? You're not dead yet! Hanbei, is, is there truly nothing I can do for you? Would you hold a war council, council to discuss an invasion? The enemy would never suspect an attack now. Yes. <laughs> You're a lost cause! Well, I'll hold the council at once. Your schemes have won the day again, Hanbei. Wait here. I'll gather the others. Or Tideyoshi. You have given me an honorable life, and you will allow me an honorable death. Being able to part this way, I have no regrets. The tactician Takenaka Hanbei's sudden death came as a shock to everyone. Hideyoshi is rumored to have said, while Hanbei lived, there was nothing in this world that could not be overcome. There we go. Takenaka Hanbei dies. Rip. He died a very early death. Oh, so, so much stuff going on. Alright, more, more hearsay. What's going on with the Shimazu? Okay, the Shimazu unite the three states. Let's see. Oh. There we go. They conquered the Ito clan right now. They united the three states. Yay! They got Satsuma, Hyuga, and something else. I forgot the name. After conquering Hyuga, and okay, Hyuga is the, is the third state, the other one was a different one. After conquering Hyuga, the Shimazu clan's long-held desire to see the three states unified was finally realized. Yes. You've done it, brother. We've made the dream of Lord Jishinsai and our father come true. Yes, it is a blessing afforded by the great efforts of yourself and the rest of, you, of our clan. Unfortunately, we cannot celebrate just yet. I bear unhappy news. I feared as much. Yes, it is as you suspected. The Kyushu official Otomo Sorin is on the move. It's because of all it is because of all the Ito are seeking refuge. So Sorin is sending his troops to Hyuga, intending to use his relation to Yoshisuke and lay claim to his former territory. That is not all. He has been raving about how he will turn Hyuga into a Christian land. The Westerners truly have him in their pockets. He is a fool and far too arrogant, but unfortunately that isn't a detriment to his strength. Yehiza, Yehiza, if we are to attack, where would you suggest we do it? Hmm, Takajo Castle in Niiroin overlooks the Takakiyawa River. I will lead the Hyuga tribes and take the castle. The Otomo are vast in number. With our army, we would be Mantis challenging a chariot. You really believe it can be done, Yehisa? Trust me, I will make sure Takajo is the place where Sorin meets his fate. 
We will block off the Otomo who cling to Yehisa's Takajo Castle. Yoshihiro, Toshihisa, begin preparations at once. Understood. Reel them in, Yehisa. We'll show them what our army is capable of. <clears throat> Damn, I need to drink some water. My my throat is sore from all these voices. <laughs> Ah, much better. Because I'm doing all these uh, raspy voices. Otomo Sorin was a distant relative of Ito Yoshisuke, the former ruler of Hyuga. Claiming this as a justification for retaking the Ito clan's former territory, he had raised a large army and marched southward. It was an open secret that his true intentions were to spread Christianity throughout the, across the land. By the way, Otomo Sorin's uh, portrait in this game is an exact copy of a statue of his in Kyushu, actually. He's actually dressed like that and everything. However, Tachibana Dosetsu and many other chief retainers opposed his invasion. Despite their large numbers, the Otomo army was no monolith, an opening that the Shimazu would use to their advantage. Like, a lot of the portraits and artwork of this game is actually based off uh, actual, like, either statues of these figures, or um, artwork of them as well, like historical artwork of them. It's really, really cool. Or you know, armors that are in museums, for example, because uh, a lot of a lot of the armors used by some of the samurai are all in museums and stuff. Let me see. Shimazu clan again. Shimazu will not be ruled by fools. Shimazu will not be ruled by fools. Satsuma. Shimazu Yoshihisa's palace. The clan leader and eldest sibling, Yoshihisa, had invited his brothers Yoshihiro, Toshihisa, and Yehisa to his re residence. Thank you all for coming today. Please come in. It always surprises me to see how paltry this residence of yours is. Brother, the ruler of the three states shouldn't live in such a crude pa place. You are only inviting ridicule from the messengers of other clans. Hmm. <laughs> if there is any messenger who would go so far as to meet me wi with me here, it would be a person whose eyes discern the truth behind matters. They would see that the people of Satsuma live in prosperity, and know that it is a result of my governing. Why should I embellish this palace at the cost of starving my people? Crude though it may be, crude though it may be, its appearance is the least of our concerns. And that's how you know he's a good leader. You're right. I was being superficial. Don't let it bother you. We were only curious. Putting that aside, brother, what is this picture? These are the rulers from the times before. Yes, they committed treacherous acts which resulted in the destruction of their lands and the dissolution of their clans. Why would you have such a picture here? One, one may Im imitate five good deeds with ease, but a single evil proves difficult to quit. I hung this picture as a reminder of that, so I can keep in mind what comes of bad deeds and strive to keep my actions in check. I apologize for my ignorance. Well, that's enough. Now, I think it's about time we discuss the purpose of this gathering. Indeed. Let's begin. The Shimazu are not ruled by fools. These words were often spoken in praise of the Shimazu clan. Shimazu Yoshihisa relied greatly on the talents of his brothers, but their great skill made it all the more important that both they and himself always behaved in an appropriate manner. This way of thinking was obvious to Shimazu Yoshihisa, which may have been what made him most suitable to lead the clan, and proof that he was the most capable brother. And he might not be the greatest general, but he has other talents with, which make, make him stand out from his brothers. He's a good leader. Alright, let's expand the markets. I want more money. The other clan was very rich. Very, very rich. Alright. Well, let's actually give them orders now. Since we can do that. I want Nagahama to be an attack castle. Yeah. I want Nochisayama also be an attack castle. We're rich, hell yeah. I want Yagi to also be an attack castle. Sakamoto could be a marching castle. 
but I don't want supply stations because I'm not gonna march from this castle. I'm gonna use this castle mostly for other things. Hmm. Hmm. Because I want to spam rice dealers and irrigation canals. I could make it a trading town though. That wouldn't be bad either. Actually, yeah, I'll make it a trading a trading town. Trading place. Yeah, I'll do that. Sawayama. Sawayama. What will I do with Sawayama? I think I can also do this here. Hmm. Actually, I'm not gonna automate it. I don't want to automate Sawayama. I, I usually like to use Sawayama as a way to put a resupply base here. Because Sawayama is in a, as a, in a point where a lot of your armies will cross from one place to another. So I like to use this place as a center of, of my logistics. So I, I need to get lots of supplies here. So that my armies, when they march from one place to another, when they, get, when they get here, they can resupply their provisions. That would be good. Yeah. Hino... Uh, I think you can get stables here, so I'll make this an attack castle as well. Iga Weno... Iga Weno... Iga Weno can be a civil center. Ah... Uh, you're missing one. You're missing one. Can I can I switch you with Gamuya Side? I don't want you as a leader here. What is he Why is he Masa not the leader? Hmm. I need someone with more politics. Miyabe Keiju. We have so many good officers, that's insane. Okay, who has the highest politics? Mitsuhide, but I don't want Mitsuhide here. Hashiba Hidenaga. Sakamoto. Yeah, let's put Hidenaga here. Although, if I do that... Yeah, yeah, let's put Hidenaga here. And let's put someone else in charge of Sakamoto. Someone with more politics. Hori Hidemas, Hori Naomasa. There we go. And Hino, I can put Gamu Yasuhide in control of Hino. And then his father, Katahide, can be here with him. He's much better. So now, here in Sakamoto, you can... That's not what I want to do. And uh, there we go, attack. And you can go for civil affairs. Nice. Now for my capi the capital. Murai Sarakatsu has control of this, but actually I want a better officer here. I'm gonna make this an attack place. Because it's so close to the front lines. But I, I want someone else better in combat. Hori Hidemasa would be good. Let me see. Valor. Who has the highest valor? Iso. Kazumasa. Iso, Iso no Kazumasa. is good. He's good. But let me see. Who else I can get here? Akechi Mitsuhide. Hmm. Mitsuhide would be much better here. Ah, eh, whatever. I'll, I'll keep it as is for now. Because everyone is busy doing other things. As for Shoryuji, I also want it to be an attack place. An attack base. As for Shisan, Uh, right. Nobumori kinda sucks at a lot of things. Let's try and give him some help. Oh, none of them buff him. 
None of them buff him. Oh, that's a shame, eh? ain't it? Fine. I guess Shigi-san can be an auto for now. We can always change it later. Right? This is good. Akaya, I mean, it's kind of dangerous because we're close to the front lines. Oh wow, he can't do anything on his own. Fine, it's fine. I don't, I don't, ha I don't have to micromanage too much. I don't have to micromanage too much, manage too much because again, we're just playing for five years in the game. Anyways, we need to conquer this. I want to conquer that. Alright, we're done. Let's continue improving our places. Actually, any... I can get another level of system form. Good. Because that's what will allow me to do, to, to do resupply bases, which I want. I'll get easy commerce eventually, in a bit, but not yet. Irrigation maintenance is good... I think from now on, I'm not going to do anything more. Because I want to save money. I do want gunner instruction though. Give me muskets. I want muskets. Let's see. Kashiba Hideyoshi. No. No. Meritocracy is good. I want meritocracy. Strength of years is good too. Let's go with meritocracy. First, yeah. As f as for this, adept governor, bulwark razor, compulsory labor, death or glory. No, I don't want any of these because the the cons are a bit annoying right now. Yeah. Well, I guess settlement seizure, seizure speed. I'll once I finish. Improving my entire uh, Kanonji castle, I'll do this one. For now, I'm not gonna put anything there. Let's see, ninja code is really good. I think I'm gonna go for that. And we can open another slot here. Let's see, code of the official, way of the Hashiba. Way of the Hashiba, hmm. Itetsu Inaba. Naval transport. Oh, that could be very useful, actually. I want that. There we go. Waterborne resupply, no sort of decrease. Yeah, this is good. I'm not gonna enact them right now, but this will be very useful. Oh, there we go. That's one of the tea masters that I was talking about. Sen Norikyo, or Sen Soeki right now, but his name is uh, Sen Norikyo, more popularly known as. Hell yeah. He's the, he's the inventor of tea ceremonies, by the way. That is very good. Let's see, do we have space? Actually, I should probably use my substitutes a bit better. Can I? Oh, I can't yet. A tea, daddy. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you need help. So here's some help. Put someone else over here as well. Right now, I think I'm gonna focus over here. It's best. Okay. Let's continue. Another event. There we go. The second battle of Kizugawa, Kizugawa Guchi. We the Oda clan lost the first one. Because the Mori clan is, has, is much more experienced when it comes to naval warfare. 
But now we're about to see the second battle. Because Nobunaga is like, oh yeah, we lost? Alright, I want ships of iron and cannons. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen now. After a humiliating defeat against the Mori navy, Kuki Yoshitaka spent years building a fleet of giant ironclad ships. It's finished! I've built you an iron fleet, as exactly as you asked. We'll never lose to the Mori na Mori's navy again. He child Mori. <laughs> The other clan had finally completed the construction of Chid of six large warships, each equipped with numerous cannons and sheathed in, in thin plates of iron. Excellent. This is just what we needed. That cursed artillery of theirs will be useless now. The rockets used by the Mori Navy were made of porcelain and filled with flammable material. These weapons had caused tremendous damage to the other Navy's ships during their last battle at sea. The iron covering would, would prevent them from catching fire, giving their ships a literally ironclad defense. But with how big they are, they're quite slow and difficult to maneuver. We'll have to draw the Mori here in to Sekai. We only have to wait. They will come without fail. We must keep them unaware of our ships, then turn the battle in our favor. I mean, they will be coming because the Mori are here to resupply Ishiyama Honganji. That's the reason why Ishiyama Honganji was able to last 10 years under siege. Literally it's because the Mori were resupplying them. By sea. Just as Nobunaga predicted, the Mori soon returned to Sekkai, Osa Osaka Bay, to come to the Honganji's aid. This time, their navy came in full force, including major officers like Murakami Takeyoshi, Takeyoshi, uh, Kobeakawa Takakage, and the Kurushima Michifusa. Those black things. Are those ships? They're enormous! The Oda have created something monstrous! Wait, they glimmer in the light. Is that metal? The black collar is no mere coating. The ships seem to be made of iron. Iron ships? How could such a thing stay afloat? I suppose they have a wooden foundation with an iron outer layer. I see. This must be their way of circumventing our artillery. As if that makeshift excuse for the defense will stop us. Proceed as planned. We will sink the Oda just like we did before. The Oda lost handily to the Mori in their previous battle, but this time the tables had been turned. The Mori navy fell victim to the cannons of the massive iron ships. Impressive! What are those ships? We can do little more than accept defeat. We must withdraw before we take any further damage. Against only six warships, the Mori's fleet of hundreds were halted in an instant. Thus concluded the second battle of Kizugawaguchi. Take that, Valmori! Victory is ours! We did it, Yoshitaka! This is a tremendous win for us! The Honganji must be cowering in despair now! With this victory, the Oda reclaim reclaimed their dominion over Sekkai. Separated from the Mori, the helpless Honganji were again in grave danger of Nobunaga's wrath. Oh, not done yet. Yeah, uh, time for tragedy, everyone. Yeyasu and Nobuyasu. Nobuyasu is uh, Yeyasu's eldest son, by the way. During the Sengoku era, there was nothing so unreliable as an alliance. Turnovers due to betrayals and personal agendas were too numerous to, to count. Which is why it's so funny that people see samurai as the honorable, ooh, loyal ones, which is like, to a certain extent, yes. But not when it comes to leaders. <laughs> uh, and even then, there's a lot of betrayals amongst vassals too, so... We've, so, we've seen a lot of them, actually, already. Considering that fact, it is truly remarkable that the Kiyosu alliance between Oda and the Tokugawa endured for as long as it did. The marriage between Ieyasu's son Nobuyasu and Nobunaga's daughter Tokuhime was a prime factor preserving the partnership. However, the relationship between Tokuhime and Senahime, Lady Tsukiyama, who is, you know, the, the wife of Ieyasu, whose foster father, Imagawa Yoshimoto, had been a great enemy of Nobunaga, was rocky at best. Perhaps because of the constant grievances voiced by his mother, Sena, Nobuyasu's feelings towards his wife, Tokuhime, had grown cold. 
Nobuyasu, we will not put more effort into this marriage. It is a symbol of our bond with the Oda clan, after all. My lord, are you taking that woman's side? She is so bloated with pride at being Nobunaga's daughter that she looks down on your own son. It is completely unacceptable. Would you be quiet? I was speaking to Nobuyasu. I do believe the mother can be overly harsh towards Tokuhime at times. But that doesn't mean Tokuhime is not also, also at fault. She writes home to Lord Nobunaga at every opportunity, complaining about myself and mother. It is an embarrassment. Have patience, Nobuyasu. If you were to divorce, our alliance would be in jeopardy. Then you follow this alliance more than me, or even mother? Can you even call this an alliance? We were treated as mere other retainers. You should have never formed this alliance in the first place. Nobunaga killed Imagawa Yoshimoto, my own foster father. Joining hands with him was rank foolishness. Guard your tongue! I'll hear no more of this from you. Nobuyasu, you return to your wife. As our clan is now, we cannot afford to lose our alliance with Yoda. Do you understand? Yayasu returned to his res residence, leaving Nobuyasu and Sena with troubled expressions. He truly believed his command had resolved the situation. But his refusal to appreciate the grievances of his son and wife undermined his authority. This failure would lead to development he couldn't possibly have foreseen. Yeyasu would soon catch word that Nobuyasu was conspiring with Takeda Katsuyori to rebel against Nobuna Nobunaga and his own father. Uh oh. Yeah, this is really bad. I think this is like the, 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 the moment where Nobunaga and Yeyasu's relationship is the coldest, probably. As well, because this is gonna have repercussions, you're gonna see. <clears throat> Tokugawa clan, Hamamatsu Castle. My lord, I have returned. Oh, Tadatsugo. Do you have a message from Lord Nobunaga? Lord Nobunaga simply stated that you may do as you please. Hmm. Is that all? Understood. <laughs> so, Lord Nobunaga has seen through my requests. He's saying that I am on my own. I am not to rely on him, nor bring any trouble his way. My lord. Do not speak Tadatsuko. This is my decision to make, and I must make it alone. Expecting his son Nobuyasu to revolt, Ieyasu had sent Sakai Tadatsugu to explain the situation to Nobunaga. Nobunaga could not hide his own dissatisfaction with Nobuyasu, having received numerous complaints about him from his own daughter, Tokuhime. However, he left it up to Ieyasu to decide how to deal with the problem. Okazaki Castle, Mikawa On your feet, Nobuyasu! You are to be confined! Father, do you truly believe the rumors about me? You would trust them over your wor the words of your own son? I do not want to hear it. You will depart to Ohama Castle at once. Ohama? You shut me up in that dilapidated ruin? I never knew you hated me so. It doesn't matter whether you're planning to rebel or not. The real issue is that you've sown Lord Oda's suspicion. Making the boots of a man like Nobunaga. How pathetic. Is your pet hair line so important? The Tokugawa clan would be better off if, if I took over and cut our ties with them. So the rumors are true after all. There is no more need for excuses. As you will, father. But permit me, but permit this rebel one last thing. May I say farewell to mother before I am sent away? I have already ordered Sena's execution. She is no longer with us. You killed mother? You... You are no father of mine! Say something, dog of Nobunaga! Damn it! Damn you! Take him away! Nobuyasu was detained and sent to a derelict Ohama castle. 
After he was transferred to Futamata Castle, he was ordered to commit seppuku. Hanzo, we will take my head and ease my way to the afterlife. That I cannot do. I have been sent only to confirm your manner of passing. What a shame. I would have liked to face my end at the edge of Demon Hanzo's blade. Mooning. Tell me, Hanzo, what should I have done differently? And that was Hattori Hanzo, um, most famous ninja of all. N real name, Hattori Masanani. With his forced suicide in Futamata Castle, Nobuyasu followed after his mother. The disruption plaguing the Tokugawa clan had been resolved. The alliance between the Oda clan and the Tokugawa clan would endure, but at the price of the lives of Ieyasu's wife and son. Yeah, let's just say that this really made the relationship between Ieyasu and Nobunaga very cold. Because um, while, while Ieyasu never ever sh showed like uh, hostility towards Nobuyasu, it was said that he started harboring some resentment towards Nobuna Nobunaga. But he never, he never expressed that though, never. And he continued working alongside Nobunaga the whole time. Um, but yeah, I mean, no, no, Ieyasu knew that, you know, if he were to anger Nobunaga, his clan would be deleted. <laughs> and Nobunaga was way too strong at this point. Anyway, Tokugawa clan and Oda clan's alliance, marriage alliance, and this was also a way for Nobunaga to test how loyal Ieyasu is to, towards him. And there is also, like, theories that, he, that Nobunaga kind of um, was distrustful of Nobuyasu because Nobuyasu was actually a very competent a very competent person but that's just a theory though we don't know for sure Tokugawa clan and Oda clan's alliance marriage alliance and vassalage are terminated Tokugawa Nobuyasu dies Senahime dies Tokugawa clan becomes a vassal of the Oda clan so there we go now they are they are our vassals Tomita Nobutaka Oh, we got it. We have a daughter, Oda Mio. We can actually name her, but we'll keep Oda Mio. That's like a, that's like a generic like daughter that you can that you can get, and you can like, you know, marry the the this daughter of yours either to an officer to make them your kin, or marry them to another clan to make a marriage alliance. Ah, uh, Sada Sadahide is is ill. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Anyways, we can now take Honganji. Default daughter. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. We, we got the, 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 the Tokugawa clan is now our vassal. Right. So. Okay, I want to conquer this. Because it's already like 78. What's this? Wait. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait, wh why, why didn't the Otate Noran happen? No, it, it happened. Here we go. There we go. Kenshin is dead, everyone. He died of illness. He drank himself to death. Westsugi Kenshin was born into the clan which served as the Echigo agent, inheriting leadership from his brother Harukage. He had challenged Takeda Shingen and sent his soldiers down to Kanto on many occasions. Kenshin's exploits had earned him such nicknames as the, the Dragon of Echigo and the God of War. However, this formidable warrior's life would be unexpectedly cut short. He was in Kasugayama Castle preparing for an upcoming battle when he decided to take a rest. And suddenly, he fainted. He would not regain consciousness and after a few days, he was confirmed dead. Yeah, rest in pepperoni. <laughs> News of their mighty leader's passing struck the clan with an ease. The main question hanging over their heads. Who would succeed Kenshin? Because if you don't remember, Kenshin did not have any sons of his own. He adopted two sons. Because he, was, he wasn't married. He never married. Kenshin was a strict believer in Bishamonten. Remaining celibate his entire life. There you go. They're explaining it. 
He never... He never... He never smashed. He devoted himself to Buddhism. And, and everything else. Uh, remaining celibate his entire life. But even though he never fathered his own children, he adopted two. One of these was Kagekatsu, the son of Kenshin's older sister, Sentoin, and the late Masakage and Uedanaga Okuen. By the way, this is kind of the reason why there's like theories that Kenshin may have actually been a woman. But those are just theories. That Kenshin was a woman. The other was the beautiful and talented Kagetora, son of Hozo Ujiyasu. Kenshin had never given a declaration concerning which would, which one would inherit his position. He takes no nut November too seriously. <laughs> yep, to 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 him is no nut lifetime. <laughs> so yeah, he never ch chose who would be the one to lead after him. So now we're in this debacle. Neither Kagekatsu nor Kagetora knew what the other was thinking, but their retainers quickly prepared them to battle for the position all the same. Kasugayama Castle Town, Higuchi Kanetsugu's residence. A report, my lord! I have heard word that Lord Kagekatsu's forces have entered Kasugayama Castle and seized the treasury. Is that so? What of Lord Kagetora? He was forced to enter Otate because his castle had been taken. Is in Otate, the palace of the former leader? Could this mean he has sided with Lord Kagetora? Otate was the residence of the retired former leader and father-in-law of Kenshin, Uesugi Norimasa. Um, okay, Yamano Uchi Uesugi Norimasa. Uh, yeah, Yamano Uchi Uesugi Norimasa. Furthermore, it appears that Lord Kagetora has requested assistance from his former clan, the Hojo. And it seems he intends to go to war. He is the son of the god of war, after all. A large conflict was brewing, was brewing within the Uesugi clan. The stage was set for what would become known as the Siege of Otate. The Otate no Ran. Here we go. There we go. Uesugi Kagekatsu succeeds Uesugi Kenshin as Daimyo. Uesugi Kenshin dies. Uh, Hojo clan occupies Numata Castle. Yamano Uchi Uesugi clan, Daimyo Uesugi Kagetora is formed. The following clans form alliances. The Yamano Uchi Uesugi clan for and the Ashina clan, the Yamano Uchi Uesugi clan, and Takeda clan, and the Yamano Uchi Uesugi clan, and the Hojo clan. There we go. Then here we have the Westugi clan and the Yamano Uchi Westugi clan. The the clan is divided. But as you can see, the Westugi clan is bigger than the Yamano Uchi Westugi clan. Although, let's not forget that um Westugi Kagetora of the Yama of the of the Yamano Uchi Westugi clan, he is the son of Hojo Ujiyasu. So he is the brother of Hojo Ujimasa. That means that the Hojo will now support the Yamano Uchi Westugi clan in this in this uh, in this civil war. It is also the civil war that allows the Oda to decide to invade their territories. And you know what? I think I'm about to do it just now. Let's begin by invading Kaga province. We'll begin with Kaga province. Alright. Alright. I can also invade Ishiyama, right? Oh. Let me see if there's any events coming with Ishiyama Honganji. Oski Castle. Let me see. Conditions. Do the Ishiyama Honganji need to be al alive? No. They do not. Okay. Imigawa. Aschikaso. Kambe. Okay. Okay. What we have to do is conquer Kaga province then. Yeah, that's what we have to do. So let's take Kaka province. Nice. Now let's wait until the militarization is over. 
Hopefully Nobutada can, can come with me. That will make things easier. Not good that, that takes too much money. Right, Sawayama. Yeah, it's making these. Irrigation canal. And I can make this a resupply base. Right here, Sawayama. I usually like to make Kanegasaki a resupply base as well. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, oh, oh, there we, go. there we go. They're all ready. Good. We march. Wait, I also want to build a building in Hino. Oh, wait, no, not Hino. Kanonji. Oh, I want to build the shooting gallery first. Alright, but my army is gonna march right now. Here we go. I can show how to care things in your absence. Alright. Yasuhide, come with me. No. No, you you stay where you are. I don't uh, just in case we we are attacked over there. We also need to take Kanazawa Temple. There we go, Sakamoto. I want that castle encircled. Oh wait, no, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Oh, what's going on? Gamo's Namazuo helmet. Ah, Gamo Yasuhide's castle. On this day, Gamo Yasuhide met with a newly enlisted retainer to the Gamo clan. This day forward, I will serve the Gamo clan. I look forward to receiving your guidance. Yes, and I look forward to observing your accomplishments in our service. Ah, but of course, I should show you the proper way to gaining merit with us. On the battlefield, look for the retainer wearing a silver Namazuo helmet. You will find him rushing about on the front lines. If you work hard to best him, you will certainly gain merit. A silver Namazuo helmet? A few days later, Hey Rookie, the time for battle has finally come. Yes, I was told by my lord there would be a warrior wearing a silver helmet in the vanguard, and that I should do my best to outperform him. <laughs> We've all been told the same. Don't get your hopes up though, it's an impossible feat. Impossible? Why do you say that? Come, take a look over there. The veteran retainer pointed in the direction of the bold and brave Yasuhide, adorned with his silver Namazuo helmet. But it is my lord himself. That's right. There's no one. There's no way anyone will outdo him in battle. We can barely keep up. Oh my! I've joined quite an incredible clan. Gamo Yasuhide often said the following: Standing on the battlefield and yelling "charge" will not suffice to motivate your soldiers. Instead, the leader himself must charge ahead and command the rest to follow. That way, the soldiers will have no reason to abandon him, and they will surely follow. There we go. March with me. No, they died. What's going on? Don't I have a. Th I think I have a castle without people. Hmm. Ooh. But as you can actually, maybe I should put them over there. That's fine though. What do you need a master? Fine, I'll allow it. Kagekatsu or Kagetora? Ah, the Takeda need to make a choice now. Uesugi Kenshin's death resulted in the siege of Otate, a fight to determine the successor of the Uesugi clan. 
On one side was Uesugi Kage Katsu, son of Nagao Masakage. On the other was Uesugi Kage Tora, son of Hojo Ujiyasu. Many of the retainers whose families had served the Uesugi family for generations, as well as other powerful figures within Echigo, supported Uesugi Kage Katsu. On the other hand, Uesugi Kage Tora had earned the support of those with deep ties to Kanto, his original clan of the Hojo and allies from various other countries. Takeda Katsuyori's Castle I bring word, my lord. A messenger from Lord Higuchi Kanetsugu of Echigo has arrived. Higuchi. He's said to be Kagekatsu's right-hand man. What does he have to say? He says there is no need to interfer, interfere in Westugi matters. Hmm. My wife was born to the Hojo, and they are, they are our ally. Their leader, Lord Ujimasa, has requested that we assist Kagetora. However, he also said that we sh sh should you stand down, he will offer you 500, 500 gold ryo as compensation. What? How has he managed to get such a large amount of... Wait, does he mean to influence us with money? Hmm, I need to calm down and think. If Kagekatsu can offer me so much, he must have taken the treasury at least. If that's the case, Kagetora doesn't have much time left. If I am to save him, I must act quick, quickly. But what would come, come of that? The Takeda would be surrounded by the Hojo on all sides. Eventually, we too may have yet have to yield to them. Should I instead join hands with Kagekatsu to take down the Hojo together? My lord, what do you say? I accept the offer. Are you sure? I'm sure. But know full well that this does not mean I am allowing myself to be bought. I mean to be neutral towards Kagekatsu and Kagetora. This way both the Hojo and Wesugi will be indebted to us later. I see. Very clever, my lord. But things did not progress as Katsuyori planned. The Hojo clan grew distrustful of the Takeda's unclear stance and dissolved their alliance. Katsuyori panicked. As a countermeasure against an attack by the Hojo, he immediately wed, wed his sister, Kikuhime, to Kagekatsu, establishing a marriage alliance with the Wesugi clan. However, the Wesugi clan was crippled with internal conflict and did not have the power they once wielded. The Takeda clan would have to fight the Hojo all but on their own. What a mess! What an absolute mess! Takeda clan's gold becomes 10,000 up. Wesugi clan's Kagekatsu and Takeda clan's Kikuhime get married, forming a marriage alliance. Takeda clan and Yamano Uchi Wesugi clan's alliance, marriage alliance and vassalage are terminated. Hojo clan and Takeda clan's alliance, marriage alliance and vassalage are terminated. So yeah, what a mess. <laughs> yep, look at them fight. Look at them go. Anyways, we have our own invasion to take care of though. Uh, ah, uh, Rice Dealer requires four labor. Okay, we'll wait. Oh, Onda Masanobu? Wait, you're supposed to be with the Tokugawa. What the hell are you doing here? Alright then, I'll take him, he's an amazing officer. I guess I can always invade here too. Also, we didn't take Shingo. What the hell happened? I want Shingo. Guess I'm gonna have to take that myself, huh? Wait, let me do this. Take this. There we go. And you. I want you to capture this. We need to capture all the territories that we historically did capture. And that means these castles. And Nobutada too. Well, actually, no, not not yet. Damn, our politics stat is so high. This is really good. Yeah, why not? Let's do this. Hideyoshi... Why 
my life. See you. Sure. Everyone is a statesman. But Nobunaga. Well, Nobunaga being a statesman isn't bad either. It's his greatest stat after all. He, I think he has the highest politics stat in the entire game. Let's do that. We can now build the rice dealers in Kanonji. Oh, it's still being done. Everyone gets a castle. Farmland. Ooh, ooh, this is good. Sagara clan have fallen to the Shimazu. Okay, we'll wait. I want. Where you are. So I want to prepare a different invasion and we can bring all these eventually. Yeah, you can go there. Let's stop this. Wait, what's no? Oh, yeah, this one. You can go. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. There we go. All of you stay where you are. You are supposed to do something else eventually. I, I will allow the tribes to go, these two. Why not? You. March with me. Nobutada too. March with me. That means I can I can focus on Kanazawa. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. We're getting pincer there. Fall back. Fall back? Okay, there we go. The pincer is done. Are they going fine? Okay, they're doing fine. Oh, what's going on? Ah, there we go. The Civil War is done. Uesugi Kagetora falls. Kagetora was the seventh son of the Sagami Daimyo, Hojo Ujiyasu. Yet his name was given to him by the God of War, Uesugi Kenshin, who saw promise in the young man's talent. During the siege of Otate, which had been instigated by Kenshin's death, Kagetora would gain the support of his familial, familial clan, the Hojo, to fight Uesugi Kagekatsu for the right to inherit the authority of the late God of War. But fortune was not on his side. His spirit had never found a place to take roots. Letting it rot here would cause no one any remorse. My life provided not, and so I lose everything and stand bare and alone at my end. I belong to neither the Hojo nor the Uesugi. What have I contributed to either? What purpose have I served? Kagetora's exact date of birth is unknown, and his earlier years remain a mystery. Some say he was never even given a grave. Though much of Kage Uesugi Kagetora's life remains shrouded in mystery, what is known of the man it certainly spells a tale of sorrow and bitterness. Upon his death, the siege of Otate that had shaken the Uesugi clan was resolved with Kagekatsu the victor. The Uesugi clan would unify under the clan leader Kagekatsu's rule, and go on to challenge many other daimyo for power. But they would never be as strong as they were when when they were under Kenshin though. Because they're gonna get their asses kicked by us now. Yamana Uchi Wesugi clan is annihilated and affiliated officers are added to Wesugi clan. The following officers die. Wesugi Kagetora, Wesugi Norimasa, Kitajo Ka Kagehiro, Samponji Ta Saranaga, Wesugi Kagenobu, Honjo Saneyori, Momonoi Yoshitaka, Officers change affiliations. Kitajo Takahiro becomes affiliated with the Takeda clan. 
Nagao Norikage becomes affiliated with the Takeda clan. Nagao Kagenao becomes affiliated with the, with the Oda clan. Hey, we got a stray, a good stray. There we go. Oh, what stuff is going on here? What's going on with the Westwick clan? Kunikyo Murakami changes his name. The siege of Otate, which had divided the Westwick clan of Echigo in two, had been resolved. With Wesugi Kagekatsu emerging as the victor, a servant of Kagekatsu, Murakami Kunikyo, was recognized for his achievements. Your great efforts are worthy of honor. Thus, I will grant you as a reward portion of my name. You shall be known as Kagekuni. Not only have I been recognized by the clan of the late Lord Kenshin, their new leader has now bestowed upon me part of his name. I cannot believe it. While Kenshin was still alive, Kun Murakami Kunikyo had served as the successor of the Yamaura Uesugi Yama Uesugi clan, an illegitimate branch of the Uesugi. During that time, he had used the last name Yamaura. I, Yamaura Kagekuni, will continue to serve Lord Uesugi's family with the same und undying lo loyalty I always have. Although it was no longer a daimyo fam family, the Murakami clan the house that had once battled the Takeda in Chinshu was set to embark on a new path alongside the Uesugi. Murakami Kunikyo's name changes to Yamaura Kagekuni. Alright, what's going on? Raise? No need. Keep going, I want that castle in circles. Ooh, this is good. Let's crush these monks. Let's let's crush these Ikoiki monks. We have far more troops than they do. Hmm. Go over there. Hmm. Actually, no, wait, wait, wait. He's coming over there. I want you to go over there. And I want Nobunaga to be into the middle of the battlefield. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Oh, wait. Oh! Well, they, they got Westugi reinforcements. Huh. Interesting. Alright, that's fine. The Westigi will be next. We're fine. No, wait. Ta Hideyoshi, take the high ground. I don't want the enemy to encircle me there, so... We should be able to take this. Yes, we did. Alright, there we go. Hmm. Go over there. Wait, can he, can he pass? He's not blocking the way, is he? Oh, he is. Okay, Hoshi, uh, go over there. Oh, we really can't. He's really blocked. You go back. Ah, there we go. We got... Hideyoshi got the high ground. We can now shoot them from above. Nice, let's go, Hideyoshi! Nice, this guy is gonna go back here. Good. Alright, Hoshi return. We'll let, we'll let Nobunaga take care of this. Awakening! There we go. Amaka Sukagemochi is the strongest unit. There we go. 
次なる手だとはいかにせん今なこっちですぞ手を振るぞ頂戴したか Yep Destroy. There we go, let's use this. We will restore our stamina, which means our unit over there can hold for longer, meaning that Hideyoshi can shoot for longer too. All good here. There we go, that guy is retreating. Yeah, nice, let's go! Narimasa! Chase them. I want you to go over there. Take the key point. Mm. There we go, destroyed. Yeah, these guys are completely surrounded. You can use it again, damn. That was fast. We'll never run out of stamina like this. We took that point. Yeah, our stats are way too high. Holy shit, Nobunaga stats. Because he's an awakening ability. Boom. Destroy. He's retreating too, yeah. He's a massacre. This guy is still trying to fight us. Oh, there we go, now he's retreating. Yep, there we go. Destroy it. What a massacre, we're just wiping them all out. <laughs> now just finish them off here. There we go, destroy it. Leave no survivors. There we go, just like Nobunaga would have wanted. <laughs> the enemy lost the will to fight. What do you mean, they're all dead? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess when you die, you lose the will to fight, true. I suppose that is true. There we go. All destroyed. Now witness my authority. You betrayed me, Murashige. What do you mean? Anyways, now that we have this done, I want you to go over there. Because Sasa Narimasa will, uh, will take it from here. Alright, now take that. I want, I want all of Kaga in our control. Wait. Ooh, should I get another one? I'm very tempted to get another one. Very, very tempted. But... No, I'm not. I'm just gonna get a supply station. Oh. More resistance? Oh, 200 troops, that's nothing. Ah, the Westugi are coming to help out. There we go. Fomatsu is ours. There we go. Nice. The Kinki region. We almost dominate all of Kinki. Almost all of Kinki. No. We will not return home yet. We march on Kanazawa now. I'm gonna give that castle to, to, to Katsuya's province. Historically, it makes sense because historically that's what he was given. So. 
Here you have it, Katsuya. Use that castle well. What do you mean a castle has not been selected? Bell? Oh, because of this. For some reason that changed. There we go. Oh, never mind. Well, but since I'm here, I'm gonna keep marching on the west of your lens. Maybe. Ah, here they come. If they come at me, they're making it easier then. No, 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 no. I stormed the castle. There we go. Hanazawa is ours. No. Yasuhide can go home. His provisions are almost over. Let's see how far we can go, though. And uh, you can get Kanazawa. Damn, I have to do it all over again? Ugh. There we go. Take over this. I mean, I guess all my troops are losing their provisions. But I want to fight them in the field just a little bit. Just to weaken them a bit. At least Nobunaga takes territory really quickly. Boom! It's his ability, Dynast. Okay, now get the training bounce. Can I get the farm one? Yes, I can. Nice. Boom. Kill them all. Because if I if I defeat the the Westugi here, I'm pretty sure Katsuya is probably going to evade on his own because you see that the Westugi have very little troops. I'll let Nobunaga go at the front. Actually, I want Nagahide to go at the front. Right. There we go. Ute. Boom. Gone. Kuzunaga obliterated them. Oh, let's encircle him. Ha! You were caught! There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, wait. Why aren't you going there? There we go. Destroy! Because the Westuvi right now are still weakened from their civil war. So that's why they don't have that many troops to defend. It's the perfect opportunity to attack. If we can, if we, let's see if we can conquer Masuyama. I'll be happy if we can get Mat Masuyama. Yeah, I think we can. Nothing can stop us. They don't have the numbers. They're way too weak from their civil war. It's fine. I don't even need to do a battle. There you go. Masuyama is mine! Alright. 
You can all go home. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I see. Nobutada wants to invade the Takeda. Because the Takeda are fighting the Hojo. Well, ain't that a good opportunity? <laughs> Any, but let me see if that messes up with anything. Should be Koshu Conquest. Yeah, this one. Mm, ah, okay. So all we have to do is attack and we'll do that. Okay, that's good to know. Right? Wait, I didn't I didn't screw up anything, right? Horseshoe conquests. Any of the following. Okay, so I just need to attack and that'll be good enough. Alright, good. I'll let Nobutada take care of that. And once again, I'm gonna give that castle. It's a very good castle, by the way. To Katsuye. Oh, there we go. He still has the, the plans. Good. Now conquer these four castles, Katsuye. I'm gonna plan my invasion over there, of the south. I have money. I can. I guess I can do some things here. Naval transport can be very useful. I got some, some places. Ninja code as well. Let's see, anything else I want to add? Standing army is nice, but not yet. Still not yet. Let's see, any commendations that I can give? Yeah, I guess I can do this. Orinaomasa... No. Ooh, I guess I'm gonna expand my council. Oh, there we go. See? Katsuye is marching on his own. Because the... The West Lands are way too weak right now. Well, I think I'm gonna decrease the upkeep. Because that will facilitate our invasions much, much more. There we go, now Dawn of Revolution is much, much cheaper. Yeah. It will increase our occupation speeds. Which which is good, because if we can if you can hasten the occupation speeds, it means we're not losing as much uh, man, uh, provisions. There, there we go. Katsui is going on his own. Just like I wanted. Because he still got a lot of troops there. The West he barely have anything. Yeah, let's develop a gold mine. That's gonna do wonders to our economy. Council. Okugawa mm Yasu. -hmm. Sure. Let's do that. I do want this one. I do want this one. Sure, let's just do it. Alright, let's see. Let's see them have fun. Oh wait, we have counties to develop. Let's focus economy. I want money. Money is important. Nobunaga... He had the giant armies that were supported by a very strong economy. So that's what I'm gonna do. As well. <laughs> nice, we got the gold mine. A border. There we go. Good job, Nobutaka. Attack Shingo. Oh, oh shit! They have no. They have no pro. No, no provisions. Also, surely the events. Of the Honganji would happen now, no? Leaving Honganji. Fulfill any of the following. Ah, okay. Okay, that's all we have to do then. Gumerio! 
Territory is big, even if it's a small island. Yep. It's super fun. Like, Japan is such a, is a tiny island, but like, you, you can have a strategy game with all these relevant historical places. It's a lot of fun. They also have a game series for the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I, I'd like to try it one day. Alright, let's see. Distant employment, that sounds good. Do that. We don't we don't care about the border dispute because we're gonna take over Ishiyama right now. Ishiyama will finally fall after ten years. But what is this? Battle of Okitawanawate. Oh, alright. That's over here. In I see. The Shimazu are attacking the Nab the, the Ryuzoji. Battle of Okitanawate. Upon succeeding his great grandfather, Yekane, as retainer to the Hizen agents of the Shoni clan, the Shoni clan, Ta Ryuzoji Takanobu set about to steadily expanding his domain. The boastful daimyo then named himself Grand Governor after usurping rule over northern Kyushu from the Otomo clan. However, this rapid domain expansion and absorption of, of vassal daimyo, which straddled the boundary between, between resolved and oppressive, saw his popularity suffer. Was it that deserted? It was, Lord, of, it was the Lord of Hinoe Castle on the Shimabara Peninsula, Arima Harunobu. I hear that he has sided with the Shimazu. We cannot let this stand! He is to be punished at once! We march! Please keep in mind that, that Arima has the support of the Shimazu. We must think this through carefully. I don't care whose support he has. If we drive the enemy to the Shimabara Peninsula, they'll have nowhere to run. We can wipe them out in one fell swoop. However, we must make an example of those who would betray us. If we do not punish them, others may follow suit. Now, ready the soldiers! The Ryuzoji army made for the Shimabara Peninsula to reprimand Hari Arima Harunobu for having abandoned the Ryuzoji clan in favor of the Shimazu. It did not take long for Harunobu to request reinforcements from the Shimazu clan, who dispatched the renowned Iehiza across Shimabara Bay to link up with the Harima forces. A fierce conflict then ensu ensued between the Ryuzoji army and the combined forces of the Harima and the Shimazu and Shimazu in the eastern wetland of Okitanawate. Vanguards, why do you daddle? Are your lives so precious to you? If you will not move, I will cut you down myself. Now, slice those Shimazu scum to ribbons. Lawless hounds. A disordered army is nothing to be feared, no matter its size. Listen to me now, all of you. Do not shoot until I say. But once I give, I've given order, rain fire upon them. There will be no personal honors this day, no epic duels. We are only here to annihilate the enemy, so hold the line! Each swipe of your sword must, must claim a life. Each thrust of your spear must fell an enemy. You will take no heads, only lives. Understood? Disobey and be executed. Even with their superior numbers, Yuzoji Takanobu's forces struggle to move through the marsh losing the advantage and gradually succumbing, succumbing, succumbing to panic. How, ca how ca could it be possible that take this long to rout a mob of Shimazu? Destroy them in this instant! B but my lord, it's too dangerous. We mustn't push forward. Silence! It'll, I'll not take orders from you. Advance! No retreat! The obese Takanobu barked orders as he rode a palanquin carried by six soldiers. Poor soldiers. As such, he stood out quite clearly on the battlefield. The enemy leader is in sight! Be ready! What? What are you doing? Ryuzoji Takanobu, leader of the Ryuzoji clan, was defeated at the Battle of Okitanawate by Shimazu Yehisa's forces. It was an anticlimactic end for the man who once feared as the bear of Hizen. Following his triumphant vic victory, Shimazu Yehisa arranged for Takanobu's head to be delivered to his older brother in Satsuma. However, the head suddenly became very heavy once it was taken into Shimazu domain. It was rumored that perhaps even after his pitiable death, pitiable death Takanobu was still loath to enter enemy territory. 
Whatever the case may be, the sudden death of Ta Ryuzoji Takanobu, coupled with the Shimazu clan's rising reputation, saw the situation in Kyushu become even more precarious. Yeah, Tak Ryuzoji Takanobu dies. Arima clan becomes a vassal of the Shimazu clan. Oh, Takanobu's head. This will be the end of the Ryuzoji and the beginning of the Nabeshima clan. After Ryuzoji Takanobu was defeated in the battle of, of Okitanawate, his head was sent to Satsuma, where it was exam examined by Shimazu Yoshihisa and then returned to the Ryuzoji clan. But Nabeshima Naoshige, chief retainer of the Ryuzoji, refused to accept the head and ordered the messenger to take it back where it had c come from. You're refusing the head? Though he has been reduced to such a state, this is still your former lord! How will you manage the funeral? We appreciate your offering to offering it to us, but we've no need for it. The head is unlucky. Our clan is nothing to gain from accepting it. Take it wherever you please. How callous. Very well. I shall take it back with me. Following Naoshige's resolute refusal to accept the head of their former leader, the clan came to perceive him as a needless as needlessly cold hearted. You've ended up in a sorry state indeed, my lord. None of this would have happened if, you, if, if you'd only heeded my counsel. But even in your absence, I shall endeavor with every fiber of my being to keep the Ryuzoji house safe. Had the defeated Ryuzoji accepted the Shimazu clan's kind gesture, they would have found themselves at the mercy of their adversaries during the ongoing peace talks. Even in defeat, Naoshige remained proud and in refusing to grovel, he seized the initiative during peace negotiations with the Shimazu. Perhaps under pressure from Naoshige's sheer austerity, the Shimazu quietly agreed to a truce rather than revel in their victory. The decisive actions of the plain-spoken Naoshige ensured that, even with their leader dead, the Ryuzoji clan would retain their status as daimyo. Yeah, this guy knows what to do. Ryuzoji clan and Shimazu clan declare a truce. Yeah, it's still called Ryuzoji. Guess that's the sun. Alright, here's his own Kazamasa, you can take him. We also need to advance, start advancing over here. And that's what we shall do next. Come on, take Ishiyama. Why is it taking so long? Those goddamn monks, I swear. Let's bring one of the one of them. What happened to the Pippa video? Hey, I, I never promised the Pippa video to come this soon. The Pippa video will happen, but not anytime soon. I'm I'm working on another video before that. Okay, we need we need to do some something else here. Don't forget, I never make promises when it comes to re requests that I receive on my channel. I only make plans based on what, what's in my heart at the moment. I am planning on making a Pippa video. I've been wanting to make a Pippa video for months now. But again, I'm, I'm gonna do it when I feel like doing it. And right now there's a video that I'm working on before that. It's a VTuber who, that I've been planning before I even planned on doing the Pippa video. Thought you had uploaded one already? No, no, no. It, it's even harder now because... Uh, because now I'm I'm uh, busy with uni, so now my progress on uh, editing videos is much much slower. So I have no idea when I'm gonna release my next video in the first place, my my next guide specifically. Because there is a video coming that's not a guide, it's the 10k special. Um, but it's 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 being a bit difficult to work on it. And now with my midterms coming up next week, it's even harder. But I'm 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 working on it slowly and surely. I'll I'll probably make the Pippa video after the the next guide, which I can tell you right now, because I, I usually tell it on, on, my, on my streams, all my plans. Uh, the next guide is on Kyla Kowalski. Uh, then, I'll, maybe I'll do Pippa. I'm still deciding. Again, it depends on the moment, right? Because on one moment I might feel like doing one thing, but on the next I might feel another. Right now I want to do a Pippa video, I really do. But, I don't know how I'm going to feel like when I'm done with a Kyla video, right? So that's why I don't like making promises, because I don't like breaking them. That's one of the things that I want to avoid the most, is breaking promises. So that's why I refrain from making them. 
Ooh, he's getting his ass kicked over here. But I will also talk about that in my 10k special, because uh, I think it's worth saying so that more people can see it. But I do already have like the script of the Pippa video open, actually. I already started doing some work on it. I think it's gonna be a fun video. Hopefully it doesn't get demonetized. I'm very impressed that uh, the beginner's guide to, to Tenma wasn't demonetized. I was I made that video expecting it to be demonetized completely, but somehow it wasn't. I have no idea what kind of witchcraft was done for that to be to, to happen. But hey. Yes, YouTube is on my side for now. Alright, we need more provisions. Training rounds. There we go. Alright. Ishiyama is being difficult to take. The monks are very strong. Alright, I think I need more reinforcements over there. Oh, what water game went? Oh, you mean, um, you mean, um, ah, what's the name? Oh, he died. Uh, you mean, uh, Subnautica? I mean, I want to play Subnautica, it's just difficult to do anything these days. I, I can only stream like once, once a week now. I, I, like, until, until my first semester is done, things are gonna go very slow. Then once my semester is done, I'll be able to stream more frequently. Right. But it is in the list, though. Because I want to play that game. I really, really want to. Alright. Let's see. Oh, oh, Katsuya didn't didn't manage to take any castles. That's a shame. And now they're fortifying everything. Hmm. And somehow they they lost a Chingu. Okay, let's send some troops over there. Take Chingu already. Should I bring these ones too? Yeah, the Koka tribe as well. Let's go after them. Nobunaga will march upon Ishiyama Honganji. Mori Motokyo changes his name. Mori Motonari had many children. While his heir Takamoto as well as Kikawa Motoharu and Kobekawa Takakage are the most famous, there were more besides. Motokyo, is the fourth son, proved himself alongside his elder brothers in the conquest of Bichu, showing himself reliable enough for Teromoto to grant him stewardship of Sarukake Castle. While my brothers fight for our clan under the names of Kikawa and Kobayakawa, it rankles me that I still bear my birth name of Mori. I shall take the name of Hoida Village near Sarukake Castle for my own, and henceforth be known as Hoida Motokyo. Under his new name of Hoida, Motokyo continued to support his nephew, Terumoto, alongside his brothers. In time, his son, Hidemoto, would be adopted as Terumoto's own child. There we go. Changed his name. Hearsay. Otomo Chikaye changes his name. Another name change. Alright, time to change the Steam profile. <laughs> Steam profile name. Otomo Chikaye had a poor relationship with his older brother, Yoshimune. And when his father, Sorin, ordered him to enter the monastic life, he ended up inheriting the Tahara clan instead. Tahara Chikaye? So now a member of the main clan must take the name of a branch, eh? It is said that discord with his brother would later cause Chikaye to change his name several more times. <laughs> so he's not done yet. There we go. Yatemisemasu! 
早々に仕上げねばな。I'll leave that to Katsuya. We'll take Shingo. They will not stop our advance. This game looks super fun. It is a lot of fun. And, uh, oh, he died. And, uh, once I'm, once I'm done adding 300 VTubers into the game, I'm gonna be doing the VTuber campaigns on stream. Because, uh,. We have a lot of them already. I, I've added 148 so far. But uh, I want to add at least 300 before I do the VTuber campaigns. But yeah. Speaking about VTuber campaign, I've already added Pippa and Tenman to the game. But right now, because I'm doing a historical campaign, I am I'm I'm I have all the dis VTubers disabled. Another change on stream Steam pro profile nickname, yep. Oh, look at that. Turns out they're helping Ishiyama, oh yeah? Alright then. If that's the case, I'ma invade your territory. Don't resent me for that. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Question, how do you balance uni and content creation? I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> I'm very much still figuring that out. Uh, so I guess I guess the, the answer to that question is that I don't. <laughs> it's it's uh, I'm struggling with it, but uh, I will do it because again I don't want to give up on either of them. You know I want to do both of them. So I will I will I will get used to it. And slowly start becoming more, uh, more, uh, um, more uh, productive on both. Specifically on my channel, because it's on my channel that I, I've, I feel like my productivity has been really taking a decline. And I don't like that. I want to be more productive. I want to do more. I have a bunch of ideas that I want to come to fruition. Bring to fruition, I mean. Alright, you march here. 2am sleep schedules in the wind. <laughs> Learning to sleep 5 hours a day? No, no, I don't do that. I, I, I very much prioritize my sleep. I mean, I say that, but I wasn't able to sleep 8 hours this week yet. But I, I, I prioritize the sleep a lot. Uh, the reason being is that uh, you tend to absorb less information if you if you don't rest enough. I especially can't really absorb information if I don't rest enough. So, in a way, more than study, I just sleep more. Oh, let's do this. Sleeping is important. Otherwise I can't function. And if I can't function, nothing is done. Here, I want you to go. Yeah, I really want that. That point. So I'm gonna prioritize the point. But yeah, as as for the the VTubers that I want to add into the game, it's it's kind of crazy that I'm still not even halfway to the amount of VTubers that I want to add. I've already add added every single whole live VTuber except of Regloss. I have already a lot of Holostars members as well. I have a lot of Nishisanji members and that includes the JP branch. In fact, most of the Nishi members that I've added are the JP branch. Um, I've added a lot of Indies and small Corpo VTubers as well, both JP and EN. So it's crazy that I'm not even halfway then. Weird, it's either 8-10 hours of sleep or I don't sleep, which is what I did before my, my counseling finals. Oh, damn. No, I, like, before any exam, I'm definitely gonna sleep a lot. Make sure I get enough sleep. Because if I don't sleep, I'm gonna fail the test. It's usually the advice I tend to give to people that advise me, like, what you do for studying or whatever. What, what I do, number one priority, get enough sleep before the exam. I, if, if you go, if you go to, into the exam or a test like sleep deprived, you're gonna fail. 
like, I know it's tempting to want to cram as much information as possible before the exam comes, but that is a pitfall. Cramming is not going to work. I mean, you, you, you can cram while still having good sleep. You just need to make sure you do it before, before sleep time. Zen reminds me of Shogun Total War. In a way, yeah, it's similar because they they all take they're, they're both grand strategy games, and um, and they're based on the same period of Japanese history, which is the Sengoku Jidai. There we go. We got them in a pincer. Now we can take their disengagement point here. I didn't sleep for around 26 hours, and I am energetic like eight and pounds of uranium. Damn, do you drink energy drinks? <laughs> I've only drank an energy drink once. I've drank Red Bull once in my life. And it wasn't a full Red Bull, it was like a sip. I couldn't sleep for three days. Three days I couldn't sleep for. I said never again. After those three days I was exhausted. Ugh. Alright, Momoji Sandai retreats. That's fine. Let him retreats. No energy drinks, good, good. And not very good for your heart. Come on, take it, Nobunaga! Nice! Very good. I mean, I guess if the enemy went to Nobunaga, Nobunaga is very strong, he's got a lot of good stats, so... There we go. Good. But we're not done, they still have reinforcements coming. And uh, our troops, yeah, let's say uh, their provisions are not lasting that long. Yeah, Momochi Sandai is still here? Huh. Here's reinforcements. Shigisan Castle. Come on. Take Ishiyama. We will take Ishiyama, goddammit. It's, it's very fitting that Ishiyama is giving me so much trouble. When historically, this castle, this this fortified monastery lasted 10 years under siege. There we go. Hmm. Let's develop territory once again. Whew. Come on, we can do it. I wonder how, how long has it been since I started uh, this scenario. It feels like it's been like a long time already, but I feel like it actually hasn't. Because we're reading a lot. Yeah, we still have three years. It's been two years. Come on. Take that castle already! And we'll take the others too. That's good. That, that battle chanting gave me flashbacks for Kessence for PS2. Makes sense, it's made by the same company. Uh, Koei Tecmo, they make they make a lot of the 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 the, the, the Sengoku uh, Jidai games, you know. So, Samurai Warriors, Kessen, Nobunaga's Ambition, Neo, it's all made by the same company. Pokemon Conquests, it's all made by the same company. That's why. Usually, I, I feel like the majority of the Sengoku Jidai, Jidai games out there are all made by them. Let me see, can we... Can we take this? Shiyama... Where's the leading Ishigongan? Ah, I see. I see, I see. That's why it sounds so similar. Yep, exactly. There we go, we did it! Finally, we took Honganji! Ever since Kenyo issued his order to the faithful across Japan that Nobunaga was to be overthrown, the Oda clan and Honganji had been in constant conflict. Nobunaga destroyed Honganji's allies one after another before finally sending a formidable officer to surround the temple. Facing the Oda's, Oda army's overwhelming force, Kenyo admitted defeat and petitioned the imperial court to mediate peace. Honoe Sakihisa acted as envoy, traveling to Osaka to deliver the imperial order for peace between the two armies. 
Kenyo and his family are to be banished from Ishiyama Honganji. A fair condition, I will agree. The Oda agreed to peace terms, however, there still remained the issue of a pocket resistance within the Honganji, led by Kenyo's son Kyonyo. This is our main temple! There is absolutely no way we can con consign to that enemy of the, to the, of the Buddha! Enough, Kyonyo. To find the court would mark us as outlaws. I know that, re that reconciliation is inev inevitable, but I do not believe that Ishiyama should be surrendered! Stop this now, Kyonyo. Do you not understand my concerns? Beginning with Kenyo and his wife, Nyoshuni, the former lords of Honganji left Ishiyama for Saginomori in Kishu. However, the resistance that had been started by Kyonyo was unable to bear giving over the main hall of the temple to the Oda. After the Odas had left the temple, they set the halls ablaze. What? The entire temple has burned down? Yes, my lord. The faction led by Kyonyo fooled us. I have failed in my task. You think this is a simple blunder? Gah! Be gone with you! Encompassing Ishiyama Honganji, the land of Osaka was a strategic location. It was ideal for trade and military networks and the perfect place to build a castle for one who sought national unification. Nobunaga is said to have been enraged at Honganji's burning because he had planned to move from Azuchi to Osaka and build his new castle there. A fortnight later. You called for me, my lord? Yes, Nobumori, thank you for coming. Starting tomorrow, you will no longer be under my employ. I do not care where you go, but you must leave. What? I, I do not understand. I will not repeat myself. You will find the details in this writ of banishment. I doubt we will meet again, but live well. Oof. The writ of banishment that Nobunaga had handed him included a thorough review of Nobumori's service and detailed 19 examples of his ineptitude. He got terminated. 19 examples of them. No, this can't be. He's like a been a, a, a very a veteran officer of the Oda. Since, since Nobunaga was a kid. Chief Retainer Sakuma Nobumori, who had served Nobunaga since his time in Owari, was abruptly banished. This may well have been the result of Nobunaga's rage at seeing his plans for the land of Osaka being consumed in flames. Yeah, that's it. Honganji clan is annihilated and affiliated officers are added to, to the other clan. Honganji Kyonyo is dismissed. Sakuma Nobumori is dismissed. Sakuma Nobumori vanishes. Sakuma Nobuhi Nobuhide is dismissed. Sakuma Nobuhide vanishes. So yeah, the entire Sak Sakuma family is gone. But at least we get the Buddhist warrior man. Wait, really? We get Kenyo? The hell? All right, sure, I'll take it. All right, we need to get back home. But now that we have Ishiyama, we can still use this castle. It's a very good castle, by the way. Kambei rescued. Oh, there we go. Araki Murashige's rebellion against Nobunaga led to the fall of his residence, Arioka Castle. But just before the castle was lost, Murashige managed to escape. Kuriyama Zens Zensuke of the sieging army immediately entered the castle and proceeded to the chamber where his lord Kuroda Kambei was imprisoned. My lord, we have come for you! After Kambei's capture, Zensuke and his men had secretly probed the castle's interior to check on their master's condition. <laughs> Very good castle, it's burning. <laughs> <laughs> you sure took your time, Zensuke. Can you stand, my lord? Well, my legs, you see. Come, I shall carry you. Wait, Tahe, tell me something first. What is it? Has... has Miss Miki Castle fallen? It belongs to us still, but perhaps not for... for very much longer. I see. How fares Lord Hambe? Oh, as to that. It pains me to say it. Lord ha Takenaka Hambe has died of illness. No! There is one other thing I must inform you of. What is it? Did Lord Hambe leave a message? 
or Cho Jomaru is, is in Lord Hanbei's castle. What? That would mean... It can't be. Come, that is enough for now. Quickly, we must take you to Arima. I yes, thank you. I thought that perhaps Lord Hanbei had left me a secret strategist. But instead I hear this news about Shoujo Maru. It came as a slight disappointment, I must admit. Damn, you would, you would rather get like... His, a book on his strategist than his own son. What the hell? <laughs> Lacking as a tactician and a rotten as a father. I am inferior to Lord Hanbei in every way. Such a fool. And more fool and more and more fool me for not knowing I was a fool. I am a fool. A fool. Kanbei was deeply grateful for Takenaka Hanbei for saving his son so Shoujo Maru. History tells us that Kuroda, the Kuroda clan would come to use the Takenaka crest as their own. In this way, Kanbei would claim a spiritual connection with, with Hanbei's ingenuity. He would then go on to become Hashiba Hideyoshi's trusted associate. Oh, wait, there's another event. Araki Murashige changed his name. Ah, this one is a funny one. Araki Murashige had raised an army to challenge Nobunaga, but ended up abandoning his clan and becoming a Ronin after he was defeated. I have failed as a warrior and brought disgrace on my name. What am I to make of my life now? I only managed to bring this tea set with me. Does that mean I should devote myself to the Master of Tea? Eh? Ugh. I stepped right into a dog's droppings. Will I forever be cursed with this awful luck? Perhaps I should even change my name to Dofun, as I am no better than the dung on the streets. <laughs> yep, he changed his name to Poop. Downtrodden, Murashige changed his name to Dofun and continued aimlessly wandering the country. Yep, he's now Poop. Poop of the streets. It is said that he once returned to Sakai and met with an old acquaintance who, chi who, ch who chided him for taking such a disconsolate name. Therefore, he changed his name again to Dokun, the fragrance of the way, after his love of tea. <laughs> uh, Araki clan is annihilated and affiliated officers are added to the Oda clan. Araki Dokun is dismissed. The missing Kuroda Kanbei returns to Kanonji Castle. Officers change affiliations. Inoue Yokifusa becomes affiliated with the Oda clan. Kuriyama Zensuke becomes affiliated with the Oda clan. Kuroda Mototaka becomes affiliated with the Oda clan. Fukuhara Nagataka becomes affiliated with the Oda clan. Mori Taihei Tahe becomes affiliated with the Oda clan. And we have all of this for us. Alright. Now take Miki Castle. We're not done yet. Ooh, I, I, I can give Ishiyama to one of my officers. Who's gonna get Ishiyama? Ooh, Otani Yoshitsugo. Oh, is a good one. Otani Yoshitsugo. Otani Yoshitsugo. Otani Yoshitsugo. Oh. Yeah. I will do that. Will I actually? Saizo Kani. Yeah, I'll give it to Otani Yoshitsugo. Speaking about that, I... Oh, he's marching. I can't do anything there. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Which castles are the best? Hanakuma, four slots. Five slots. Five slots. Good to know. Alright. Because I want my best officers to be in the five slots. Ishida Mitsunari. You can go here. Who goes to Akutagawa Yama? Kenyo. What about you? Hosokawa Tadaoki. Good by me. Auto points. There we go. We reclaimed that territory that we had lost. Ishiyama is such a good castle. Alright, let's see. What else? What else shall we do? Oh, there's no one in Shigi- Right, because Nobumori was banished. That's why no one is, is in Shigisan. But the troops are marching still, though. We really need more officers. We have so much territory, but barely anyone to manage it. 
Mm. We need an extra officer here. Someone who can give him attack, please. Saizo Kani. He's already over there. Come on. Someone with Valor. Oh, Ishida Masazumi, why aren't you with your family? Okay, let's look for someone with Valor. Mm, he's already busy. Yeah, this looks good. Because now that he has more than 60 Valor, we can we can tell him to do like a, an attack based on his own. Without me having to tell him what to do. Uh, as for Akutagawayama, uh, I could also do it here, but I think I'm gonna make Akutagawayama a civil center. There we go. How's the invasion up north? Not underway. Alright. We'll take care of that later. And we still don't have Shingu, holy shit! Really? Damn, taking Shingu is taking forever. Alright, onwards to Miki Castle. Nice. Let's see, should I give any honors? Any honors? Yes, I will. You become a statesman. You? No, I want I want you to become a statesman. Takigawa Kazumasu. Covert actions are good for him. Yes. The wise. Shibata Katsui, I want you to be the brave, so no, I'm not gonna give you anything. Uh, you can be a statesman. Kuki Yoshitaka, I want you to be brave. You, Nobutada, I want you to be... One of these. Itetsu Inaba. Inaba Itetsu, I mean. Um, okay, no, no, more, no more honors. Request military officers. Wait, actually that was a mistake. He was already busy. See, now it's not an attack base anymore. God damn it. Saizokani. Come on. Oh, right. I'm not sorting by Valor. Ah, uh, but no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, never mind. Yeah, this is fine, actually. There we go. Good, good. Ooh, I have more officers here, so maybe I can make Ishiwada an actual good place. No, it still sucks. Okay, I want to change that whoever is the world of that castle to someone else. Because this castle is a good castle. It's been completely wasted in the hands of this guy. There we go, much better. Uh, we'll make it a civil center. Is it supposed to be Sakai after all? I'm not afraid of being attacked after all. Let's see, what else am I gonna do? Oh, there's a castle without... Right, Shigisan. I can't do anything there. Oh, there we go, finally! We... I knew I could count on Yasuhide. I can always count on Yasuhide. Oh, no, there's one join. Fine, go away. Shingo is ours! Oh, that's so much money. I will give Shingo to one of my provinces. You don't have to capture anything. Simply assist me now. Alright, very good. What else can we do here? Hot spring therapy, that's good. I want that. More, a faster regeneration of troops is always good. Mining technology, also very good. Give me that. We deal more damage against castles. 
I guess now it's the time to get standing army. Because we, we actually have training grounds now. Easy commerce now I can also do. I probably have some some trading towns. Let's see, what else? Where's small supply and deployment? Uh, actually, no, that's gonna cost a lot of money now. So I'm gonna keep what I have. What about the council? That costs a lot of money, but I'll do it. Hmm, what shall we do more? Actually, I want this. Hmm, Gamuyas. Nah. Let's go with this. Make it even cheaper to get this. Alright, keep going. Forward! Oh, there's no one here. Okay, let's let's get more substance then. Hakayama Okon. Nice. Ikeda Terumasa. These are, these are very good officers, them. Very, very good officers. Alright. Mori Tahe. Alright, there we go. Now they can work on it by themselves. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to develop territory. There we go. I'm gonna prioritize markets. Let's see how the, the invasion of Miki Castle goes. We're gonna surround the castle. So, first, we take over this. The Aka surely the Akamatsu clan won't care, right? <laughs> no, don't. Alright. Do your thing then. Oh! Ah, oh, Azuchi Castle completed! Azuchi Castle, the home fit for a ruler that Oda Nobunaga had commanded Niwanaga Hide to build in haste, was finally complete. Upon seeing the splendor of Azuchi Castle, a missionary from Portugal wrote those these words. I have a feeling like that's probably Luis Frois, isn't it? I, I'm not sure if we, if it's Luis Frois, but usually when you think of Portuguese missionaries here, the the like the major name tends to be Luis Frois, although there were many others. There is no establishment in all of Europe that compares to the grandiosity of this magnificent castle. The structure both inside and out take the breath away. Rows of buildings embellished with gold stand behind the powerful stone walls, and in the center soars a seven-story tower. The roofs are layered with sturdy blue tiles, and at the corners loom numerous gargoyles, which only enhance the building's majesty. I think this was the tallest building in Japan at this point. You've done a splendid job, Goroza. And you hope my lord finds it pleasing. <laughs> How could I not be pleased? This is a building worthy of my dawn of revolution. Why, I never imagined I'd see a beautiful castle. Such a beautiful castle. The central tower seems to reach to the heavens. That's why I'm calling it the Heavens Tower. An apt symbol for the ruler of the peaceful land I shall create. It is truly impressive! Heaven's Tower is certainly a suitable name to describe such a wonder! One look at Heaven's Tower and everyone will know who reigns over the, over the land. The residents will look up at my tower and be inspired. Each will strive to gain a similar residence of their own. A true ruler must nourish the hearts of his followers with inspiration and hope, and strike fear into those of his opponents and curb their ambitions. If I were to be a ruler, could I do the same? Hideyoshi, never stop, stop striving. Yes, sir. I will not let you down. 
as a means to showcase the ruler's seat of power, the magnificent structure and presence of Azji Castle would serve as a model for future strongholds. This castle stood brilliantly in the center of Oda territory, proclaiming the regime's continued quest for total unity. Yes, total VTuber unity! <laughs> Kanonji Castle's name changes to Azuchi Castle. There you go, the famous Azuchi. No, not a flood! Ah, that's annoying. 42 counties? Oh no, this is terrible. Well, there goes my economy. Oh, wait, wait, what's going on? Siege of Kozuki Castle. Recognizing Shkan Yamanaka Shkanosuke and Amago Katsuhisa's objective to restore the Amago clan, Oda Nobunaga stationed them as vassals in Kozuki Castle, a fortress positioned on the front lines against the Mori clan. It would soon come to become the location of a horrific battle between the Oda and the Mori. So, Shkanosuke means to face me on the battlefield once again. How many times does this make? As easy an opponent as he is, it is cumbersome to having, having to keep dealing with him. Let us make this our last encounter. The Mori's come have arrived, but they will not take this castle from me. By the way, Yamanaka Shkanosuke's pose, right like this, is the exact same pose of a statue of his in Japan, actually. Reinforcements from Lord Hashiba Hideyoshi are coming. If we can hold out until then, victory will be ours. But Hideyoshi's reinforcements never came. They were held back by Nobunaga, whose priority was to resolve the Besho and Araki rebellions. Yeah, we're kinda busy, we can't really defend them right now. Don't send reinforcements, Hideyoshi. We can't spare the manpower right now. Shkanosuke should be well enough prepared for the fight himself. He's on the front lines after all. Let's consider it a trial for him. Shkanosuke! Shkanosuke! Katsuhisa! We're counting on you! Endure the Mori's assault and wipe them out! We don't have enough soldiers to send you any in your way. Shkanosuke, believing reinforcements would come, continued to defend Kozuki Castle until he ran out of both arms and provisions. Where are the reinforcements? Has Lord Oda abandoned us? We will not be able to hold them at this rate. My lord, we must be patient! Months passed with, with still no sign of reinforcements from the Oda, as Kozuki Castle's supplies dwindled to nothing. Katsuhisa chose to end its defense and commit suicide. I can no longer bear to go on and force my people to suffer. Seppuku is the only choice that remains for me. The rest of you should submit to the Mori. Or Katsuhisa, I'm sorry. Our plight has amounted to nothing but failure. No, that's not true. You brought me out of the hiding in the capital and gave me a chance to act as your daimyo. It may have been brief, but I am grateful for every single moment. Once the lord of this castle has died, the Mori will, no, will take no more of my soldiers lives. I ask that you see me through this final moment. Goodbye, Shkanosuke. Lord Katsuhisa! Nobunaga's Kalo's decision resulted in the fall of Ko Kozuki Castle. Although the Yamago clan had finally been restored, Katsuhisa's suicide spelled its abrupt and tragic second end. Yeah, the Yamago clan is just never gonna become a thing. Shkanosuke's regrets. Kozuki Castle had fallen. The Yamago clan leader, Amago Katsuhisa, committed seppuku, leaving his retainer, Yamanaka Shkanosuke, alone to surrender to the Mori clan aggressors. I... I surrender. Please, have mercy. Shkanosuke, your master Katsuhisa has com committed suicide, and yet you still live. I thought you would never surrender to the Mori. It was my lord's final wish that I remain until the end and ensure no harm be brought to our men. After the castle's been handed to you, I will be fully prepared to follow after my lord and commit seppuku. Shkanosuke, your death would grieve me. You may be my enemy, but you are an admirable, admirable man. I would be happy to have one so fearless as you in my clan. Have you no interest in serving the Mori? Shkanosuke was easily convinced by Motoharu. One would never expected him to so readily agree to serve the Mori, the very clan towards which he held such burning enmity. 
but Shikanosuke had an ulterior motive behind this change of art. So question, does this, does this have alternative history like Kessen? Yes, there are, there are like alternative historical events, that, well okay, I guess they're not historical, right? But there are fictional events that can happen based on certain things. For example, for example, uh, if Ashikaga Yoshiaki, if you play as Ashikaga Yoshiaki, you can actually prevent the downfall of the Ashikaga clan. Uh, and same thing with the Imagawa Yoshimoto. He, you can actually prevent Imagawa Yoshimoto and the battle of Okeha Ohe Ah! You can prevent the battle of Kehazama from happening if you play as Yoshimoto and conquer Oari before uh, 1560. And um, in, in the battle of Sekigahara and the battle of, uh, of uh, Osaka Castle, uh, there's actually decisions that you have to take and those decisions can change what happens in those. It's really cool actually. There's a bunch more. For example, you can prevent you can prevent uh, Mitsuhide's defeat at the battle of, at the, at the battle of Yamazaki. Uh, so if you play as uh, Mitsuhide, you can play that battle, and if you win, you can basically change history and have Mitsuhide be the one, you know, to unify Japan instead of uh, Hideyoshi. It's pretty cool. It, there's not that many, but the few that there are are pretty cool. And obviously, you, obviously, you can pick any clan to play in this game, right? And you can just conquer Japan as you wish with any clan that you want. So technically, alternative history can always happen, always. Even the AI does it sometimes. But Shikanosuke had an ulterior motive behind this change of heart. With World Cup, so he's gone. Revival of the Amago is now impossible. Motoharu, you have destroyed my clan twice now. I swear that you will pay for this. I'll serve him loyally until he lowers his guard. I'll serve him loyally until he lowers his guard. Getting close to him while watching for the opportunity to finally sink my blade into his heart. But Shikanosuke had forgotten one thing. Damori was a clan of keen strategists. As Shikanosuke was traveling down the Taka... Takahashigawa, on his way to meet the, with clan leader Mori Terumoto, he was ambushed and attacked by Motoharu Samurai. Gah! What an underhanded ploy! So this is the way of the Mori! Kinda of crazy, honestly, the amount of details they put into these games, it's, it's awesome. I love it. I mean, with Nobunaga's ambition, you can kind of understand why this, this... Nobunaga's ambition is like older than Super Mario. It's from the 80s, I think. So like there's there's over 15 games in this in this series, but it's awesome the amount of details that I put, especially like not just in history like bringing to life the historical events, but also in the the appearance of the characters like the the portraits the artwork, because a lot of it is actually based off uh, statues and artwork, and uh, museum like armors and things like that, that uh, these these historical figures owned. Like for example, take Shikanosuke right here, like. His armor and pose is based off uh, um, a, a statue that actually exists of him. Damn you! But it's really cool to see all, all the details. Whew. Finally, our trouble with the Shikanosuke has been put to an end. One might call it cowardly to invite such a valiant warrior to serve our only to take his life so deviously. But we did what needed to be done. There is nothing cowardly about it. This is this is strategy of war. This is what our father taught us. Though we though we claim to be prepared to commit seppuku, for for all we knew, he would have run off and began plotting his revenge on the Mori. We needed to ensure his death. I know, I know, but still. The story of an indomitable spirit, the man who confessed his deepest desire to the moon and bravely fought through hardship and pain to see its, its fulfillment had come to a bitter end. Shikanosuke was forced to leave this world, neither having restored the Amago clan, nor having taken revenge against the Mori. He died with nothing but regrets. Yet his misfortune would touch the hearts of many who would come after him, as people to this day continue to celebrate his un unwavering loyalty. There you go. Amago clan is annihilated and affiliated officers are added to the Mori clan. Amago Katsuhisa dies. Yamanaka Shikanosuke dies. Right. 
Let's get this. The landslide. There's probably gonna be lots of uh, disasters I have to fix. Alright. Mining technology. Alright. Sogo clan destroyed the Chosokabe clan. Oh, really? They managed to defend themselves. What a marvelous victory against the Chosokabe clan. The Sogo clan can really fight. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Miki Castle won't last long. Let's get this. Ooh, I, sh I probably can probably, yeah, make another training round. Actually, that was... That Sadu, 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 what's his name? Sadayuji. Atsuchi Sadayuji. Yeah, that's his name. Let's see, what was I doing here? Saizo Kani is kinda... busy. Was I making it a civil castle? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna make it a civil castle. Make me money. There we go. And now we take Meat Castle. Well, actually, they're right there. We may as well take that. Yo, Grand Strategy Japan? Yeah! This game is. This, this, this series is awesome. I recommend it if you like Japanese history. Nomunaga's Ambition is great. Awakening is the most recent game. I personally like it a lot. A lot, a lot of people are still debating if it's better than Sphere of Influence, which is like the most beloved Nobunaga's Ambition game. I personally like this one more, but I can see, I can understand when people say that they like Sphere of Influence more. But, uh, but yeah, but they're both great games regardless. You can't go wrong with any of them. Having allied with the Mori clan, even before becoming independent from the Uragami clan, Ukita Naoye had been enjoying success among the great powers of Sanyo. But then, the Ukita clan turned against the Mori in favor of the Oda, shocking the entire region. It would be to our benefit to ally with the Oda now. Luckily, the leader of the Oda army, his Hashiba Hideyoshi, seems willing to hear us out. It goes without saying that the Mori clan resented the Ukita's betrayal, but no one was more enraged by the news than Oda Nobunaga. Hideyoshi, did I not tell you to destroy the Ukita? Why have you not brought me Naoya's head? My, de my deepest apologies! I simply thought that he, he would be of better use to us alive! Uh, with him on our side, our covert, uh... Silence! He is a turncoat and an assassin. It would only be a matter of time before he turned on us. The world I mean to create has no need for a man like him. I want his head. Now! Please try to control your anger and listen to me for a moment. While it's impossible to say Hideyoshi's persistence is what persuaded him, Nobunaga eventually gave him gave in and the Ukita, Ukita clan became his vassals. After Bizen ringleader Ukita Naoya's change of loyalties, the boundaries of authority throughout the Chugoku region could now be redrawn. There we go. Ukita and Mori clan's alliance, marriage alliance and vassal are terminated. Ukita clan becomes a vassal of the Oda clan. But now we have to hurry up because if i don't hurry up and come to their aid they're gonna get destroyed by the mori because the mori you know look at them they're all over the place the ukita do not have enough castles to protect themselves so i have to hurry up and conquer this all of this so i can so i can defend them right the mori are already invading my vassals over here so let's uh let's ask my other vassals to help to pay them go help the yamana you too. Go help the Yamana. 
Wait, there we go. Uh, the Hatano? The Hatano cannot go help Yamana. Well, that's a shame. Let's see, can, what else can I do? I guess I could ask the, no, the Uk to shoot people they have right now. Alright, so what else do I have to conquer? I still need to conquer this, but Katsuya is kind of just chilling. Can I change anything here? I... He's not doing anything! Katsuie! What the hell? Okay. This is not good. I'm gonna disband this. Let me let me disband this. He's not actually working on what he should work on. So I'm gonna do it myself. Attack! How are the ba the battles? Abru divides battles in uh, CK2 or 3 since the biggest armies always wins. Uh, personally, I think the combat system in this game is my favorite combat system in the entirety of Nobunaga's Ambition franchise. Um, yes, it's true that the battles are on rails, but I actually feel like you have more control of over what happens. When I played Sphere of Influence, I feel like, yeah, the biggest army always wins. That's what to me Sphere of Influence was like. There was very little like strategy that went into it, Unless you had like officers that were just really really strong. Other than that, I don't know, I feel like there wasn't much with it. I personally believe that this game allows me, with its combat system, allows me more control. Which is funny, because the game kind of restricts you on rails, right? But ironically, the, that restriction, to me, it feels like it gives me more control. And I feel like, even we, when you are on a bad spot, you might still be able to win, right? I've been able to pull off some uh, some uh, some wins, some crazy wins, even when I was at a minority. So I think the combat system of this game is a step in the right direction for sure. Okay, now this is done. Oh, lacking one waiver. Oh, hold well then. So now that I did all that, I can now create. That anew. It an also. There we go. Because now we have that that place. Because now every everyone is working on those places. Because Katsuya wasn't building anything. That's why his territory was so weak. I got them. Work on your territory, Katsuya. Anyways, we need we need food. So I think I'm going to enact some more policies. So something that gives us a better harvest. Like, well, there you go, marine transport. I love this. That's more harvests. I guess irrigation maintenance also gives us more crops, and uh, we have to leave it at that. Nice, we, we took Miki Castle. Alright, everyone return home. We can't proceed further than that. I guess we could take Sumoto as well. Very tempted to take Sumoto. You know what? I will take Sumoto. Akaya will advance from two sides. And again, I, I feel very tempted to take Saika, but we're not supposed to take Saika. That didn't happen. Right. All right, let's see. I actually want to create a new province here. Who should I put in charge? Yamauchi Kazutoyo. Wouldn't be bad, actually. Ooh. Even better. All right, Miki Castle. Yeah, it's far away. We really need someone to leave this. I want to give it to Hideyoshi, either Hideyoshi or um, Mitsuhide. 
Mitsuhide? Alright, Mitsuhide it is. Yeah, we can we can give him all of this. This is good. Yes, this is actually. I, I think I want to give him a Shoryuji as well. Or should I? No, I'm not going to give him Shoryuji. This is good enough. Alright, Mitsuhide, I want you to take over this. Shouldn't be a problem. I guess I can't I can't give him everything, fine. Because if I give him everything, we're gonna be in a deficit. Again? God damn. Alright, we'll, we'll uh That's fine. We'll shoulder the deficit a bit. Let me just change his um, location. Actually, no, this is fine. Oh, the, the Okita are actually invading Shikoku. I hope they don't spread themselves too thin, though. Right, that just means we need to improve our economy a bit more. So let's make markets. They're sieging this. But they're not fighting as ferocious as they could. Stormets. There we go. That's nice. Ooh, Gonji system is going to be very useful. Because the Gonji system allows uh, even um, the replacement officer, generic officers, to work on things. But I don't have the money for that right now, so I'm not gonna do it. I just want provisions. Ooh. Oh! Ah, that's terrible. The Mori took the Yamana castle. That's one of our vassals down. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps it was a mistake to make them our ally. No, they're, they're good. They're, they're, they serve as meat shields for us. We really need to help the Ukita though. Oh, sham. Everyone is enacting their authority. That is big authority. Really want to conquer the Suzuki, but I, sh I shouldn't. Alright. That's good. Oh, what's going on? The Fen? Who's attacking them? The Takeda? Yeah. Yokaro. Who's attacking the Anegakoji? Oh, the Takeda! Alright, that's fine by me. They're the guys we need to kill as well. So all is good. Request military officers. Hmm, okay. What do I do now? Maybe I should march, even if I have less troops. That's the problem. I, I think I need to stay put a bit and improve my harvest. What's going on here? He, he wants to leave our clan? Here, what if I give you some territory for you? 
surely a territory will be. Oh, I have the Hiragumo? Really? Huh. I thought Mats Isahide had destroyed the Hiragumo though. Interesting. Alright. Keep improving our economy. Because we're straining it a bit now. That's not good. Alright. Sumoto should fall. I mean, technically, it's historically inaccurate. We didn't take Sumoto, but to be fair, the Besho clan also didn't. So. I want Storm it. We cause more damage this way. Nice, our, our economy is coming back slowly. And just like that, the Besho clan is gone. Bye bye. Alright, go home. I'm gonna give this to Mitsuhide. Mitsuhide, castle is yours. Let's see, any honors I can give anyone? Hori, Tomasa? No. We'll keep it like this. Gunji system. So I guess allowing Chamberlains to see settlements is very good, so... I'll just enact the policy. Alright. Deep breaths, a moment of peace. Oh, the Wesugi? The Wesugi are helping! Oh, this is not good. Can I, I can't tell them to defend though. I hope he, I hope Katsuya decides to invade. Oh, there we go, that's what I like to see. See, Mitsuhide is being proactive. Very good, Mitsuhide. We have so many honors. Mori Nagayoshi. Alright, you get the courageous trait. You get the courageous trait. Sakuma Morimasa. You get the courageous trait. More damage. Alright. Mitsui, they will take care of that. Yeah, see, the Mori are already attacking the Okita. We can't let that. Continue. But uh, right now I'm being cucked by my goddamn provision. <laughs> I don't have enough provisions. We need to improve our harvest a bit more. What can I do to improve my harvest actually? I mean, I guess improving my farms would be a first step, but I, I, want, I want to prioritize my economy, though. We'll make a comments here, too. Pachimon. There we go. Whew, I need to eat something. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna eat a cookie. Mm. Uh oh. What's going on here? Defend them! Yeah. They will not last. We need to help them. Oh, this is bad too. Oh, nice, let's go. Mitsuhide! Very good, Mitsuhide. 
Ooh, we can get him to our side. I mean, is he really worth it though? Okay. He's not that bad. He's decent. Good for politics. A lord. You're not becoming a castle lord. Not with those stats. Hmm. Hmm. I guess Sumoto works. Oh. Oh. The Ukita are dead. Well. There goes the Ukita. They're dead. That's not supposed to happen, but that's fine. I don't think there were any like events. We have this one, but I think we saw this one in the, in the past. Oh, wait, we can't see this one anymore. Yeah, we can't see this one anymore. Okay. In that case, I'll probably show you guys this, uh, this, yeah, I think I'll show you this. This scene, like at the end. Hmm. What about this? We didn't see these two events, guys. So I'm go I'm gonna show you guys this one right now. Because this one is already supposed to have happened. Actually, what time is it? Oh, hmm. I really want to finish the scenario, but... Hmm. But we're running out of time. Let's see, two more years. Actually, no. I will continue. I, I will continue until the end. Because we have to reach 1582 August. I think I can do it still. But I will show you guys that, that event. That historical event. The two of one. The two that I, that I haven't... Um, that we didn't see. Because the point of the stream is that we get to see the historical events happen. So it was. Um, let me see. Gallery. Events. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We're still far away. This one. Hmm. Give me just a moment. All right. Hashiba Hideyoshi's lineage was somewhat of a mystery within the Oda clan. And many had their suspicions about the motives behind his achievements and ambitions. None was more suspicious than Shibata Katsuya, a chief retainer with familial ties to the Oda. The only person Katsuya thought less than Hideyoshi was his tactician, Takenaka Hanbei, who had been making a name for himself. The man whose bravery on the battlefield had earned him the nickname Steadfast Shibata had yet to impress Katsuya in the least. To him, Hanbei was a book-learned hack whose strategies lacked practicality. He couldn't stand the reputation Hanbei was garnering. Kazumasu, Nagahide, come with me. Or Katsuya, what is the meaning of this? You're aware Hideyoshi's been entrusted to handle Chugoku? Y yes And it seems he's bringing Takenaka to his castle. To this castle. Oh, the peerless tactician himself? He's a peerless fraud if you ask me. I can't stand that boy. 
He wields neither spear nor sword in his ivory tower. What does he know of war? Luck is what brings that boy victory. I have no faith in his abilities. So what do you plan to do? I will listen to whatever it is he means to pass off as a strategy, and then teach him how a true warrior approaches the battlefield. Now come! <sighs> he would be better off to forget this grudge. By the way, have you heard? Some say that Hanbei rides a cow on the battlefield. A cow? How can you fight on the back of a cow? Hideyoshi keeping cows to march on the battlefield. Absurdity. <laughs> it seems that everyone is here. How can I be of service to you? Lord Takenaka, I've recently heard tell that he, I mean, Lord Hashiba has been put in charge of the attack on Chugo. You being Lord Hashiba's right hand man, I thought you might want to share with me your plan to defeat Tomori. Lord Hideyoshi has yet to tell me his opinion on the matter. So I'm afraid I cannot give you an answer. Mm. Surely you have your own opinion, Lord Takenaka? Perhaps we could ask you how you think you can gain victory. Uh, 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 yes, I'd like to hear your thoughts. I see. In that case, I will tell you what I think. The Mori are known for their previous leader, Motonari, who rose up from Aki to defeat the both the Uchi and Yamago and conquer the majority of Chugoku. The concept of the, at the center of their clan is total unity. With this in mind, their forces will stand together in the face of anything. This saying is etched into each of their hearts, from their retainers down to their foot soldiers, so much so that even eliminating their leader will not spell the end of our problems. Thus we must attack them from the bottom up. We will remind their soldiers that, and their lords that to fight against Yoda is futile. If their subordinates are shaken, Kobayakawa Takakage, one of the Mori's two rivers, may too begin to harbor doubts. He is one who determines the correct course of action through careful deliberation. So, if Kobayakawa ceases to fight, we can wipe out the Mori. First, we have Kuroda perform covert actions in Harima to take down the Besho, then repeat it in, to in Totori with the Konomo and then in Takamatsu. I believe that would be one way of settling this matter. I knew this would happen. By the way, Lord Takenaka, I heard that you ride into a battle with a bull. Is that true? <laughs> that only happened once, but it seems that I've become known for it. Rumors do have a way of growing larger than true. But he did it once, though. <laughs> so, what did you think of Hanbei? Well, he exceeded my expectations. Perhaps experience on the battlefield is not the only determining factor in one's talent for war. Exactly. His talent is innate. Where once we had Kusunoki, now we have Taken Takenaka. However, wars rarely progress according to plan. That is something one cannot know until they've seen the battlefield for themselves. Lord Katsuya and I know this all too well. Whether Takenaka is aware remains to be seen. There we go. That's the one of the events we missed. And this is the events that we will miss. Because uh, the Ukita are gone. Let's see. Bizen ringleader. This one. This is supposed to happen this year, but it's not gonna happen because, well, they they're gone. So we'll see it now. No, I cannot die with my work left unfinished. Known as the Bizen ringleader, the man who never balked at backstabbing or betrayal had finally plotted his last scheme. His heir. Hachiro was still young, so dying now would mean the Ukita clan that Naoya had built could be in danger of falling. Hachiro! If I fall here, you must rely on Lord Hachiba Hide Hashiba Hideyoshi. Take one of the characters used to write his name and become Hideye. Father, you mustn't give up. No, I know it is my time. I do not wish to die, but if I must, there is none, none other that I can leave the Ukita to. Father, listen to me. Do not leave Lord Hashiba Hideyoshi's side. It is said that a large, a large tumor in the bowel is what did, did in the Master Trickster. It was as if all the hatred that Naoye had earned from the people he tricked manifested itself in his body. The young Hideye took over the Ukita house and stuck close to Hashiba Hideyoshi, just as his father had told him. There we go. Those are the, those are the events.
All right, let's go back to our campaign. We have a year and a half to play still. There we go, Battle to Dorigawa. Don't mind the uh, Tokino Sora and uh, Keison over there. <laughs> uh, all right, hey, what's going on here? Hmm. The Sogo clan? We don't need to care about the Sogo clan. Shikoku is for the Chosokabe. Mm, mm, mm. Uh oh. Protect them. Oh? I need to invade over there. No, Hayashi! One of our senior retainers. Well... If the Ukita have died, then I guess there's no rush to go to the west. There's a lot we still have to conquer though. But I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Unfortunately. That's fine though. Recently tried Rust, pretty good game. Though I am playing on the PvE server though. Not fond of profanities. Ah. I've heard of I mean I, I mean I've seen Rust. Um but I've heard that Rust tends to be very cutthroat. You know? Which it makes sense why it's like so much fun to watch like content creators play it. It, it does seem like the, the the kind of fun thing you'd like to enjoy to to play as a community. I'd like to try it one day. Though that day is not anytime soon. I have way other games I need to try to play. Alright, what can I do here? We don't need these fortresses. Come on, no nothing is gonna get to Azuchi. Nothing. We're not rich anymore though. I mean, our income is doing fine. We managed to to fix our problem that we had with our economy. We, that is good. Hmm. I bought Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal was the one I bought. There you go. Oh, nice. It's coming back. Let's get one more of these. Once we finish this, we'll invade. However... We will invade the east. I want this done already. What else can I do? I guess I can improve this. It's a better harvest as well. I can bestow honors. Isono Kazumasa. Ishida Mitsunao, I want Mitsunao to be a statesman. That's where he excels most. That's fine, I'm using him for commerce anyways. As for you, yeah, you get the courageous. Alright, that will be it. Again, can wait since Eternal and, and 2016 take place back to back. It's better if you play 2016 first. You play other games while you wait for sale. I mean, definitely, we have a lot of games in the in the in the list, so I don't have to play uh, Eternal first. So it's 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 completely fine. I have I haven't finished Trails into Reverie yet. In fact, 
I've barely been playing games as of late. Whenever I do play a game, it's like, oh, I enter Nobunaga's ambition for a little bit. But that's kind of it. It's a shame. I want to play more, but I can't. Don't have the time. Ah. Uh, oh well, that's that's how things are. It's fine. Once the semester is over, I'll I'll get to. I'll get to enjoy some time. Oh right, I completely forgot this. I want to I want to make a rice dealer here. Oh right, and the rice dealer. That means I don't have to worry too much about. Pro yeah. Okay. Let's begin. Let's begin threatening an invasion. Poyama is the bigger castle. We'll take it. Ino. Nochiseyama. Very good. Now I need money to so I can make that uh, that rice dealer. Because the rice dealer in, increases the amount of provisions that I can store in a castle. And that's good for a resupply castle. Because it means lots of your armies can cross it, the city, and you still have plenty of, of uh, provisions for other armies. Why do you keep making fortresses? We don't need fortresses. Like, this is Azuchi. This is the, the heart of our of our territory. Do you think we need fortresses? God damn. The AI is weird. Nice, that was very good for our economy. Hmm. Small unit deployment. Mm, too expensive. Naval transport. Let's get another level bodyguard formation. Nice. Okay. Now let's wait for the militarization to finish. But yeah, we have two sources of resupply. Sawayama and Kanegasaki, which is great. Oh, too expensive. Let's not do that yet. It's too early for that. Hmm. Okay, we won't do anything. Let's try and max out Donner Revolution next. Nice, Sawayama. Finish that. Now let's wait for Nijo. We're ready. Begin the invasion. Wait, who's coming? We don't need that many. Oh, the tribe. The tribes are fine. Alright. And I want you to come too. Ranging attack. Joint offense. To be our massive attack. Ranged attack. Alright, we'll conquer this. Now's the time. Let the rice dealer. And now you can auto. All right, Wesugi. Show me what you've got. I'm taking what I'm supposed to take. <laughs> Let's 
Damn, that's so many troops. There's Nobunaga. Mm. There he is. Mm. Nice. Nanao is ours. There we go. Nanao Castle is ours. Oh, there we go. Kairi Kumu is also ours. This is what happens when I get serious. When I unleash all my armies. Ebite. Oh, sure. You may keep that. Go away. Alright. I'm gonna give that to Katsuya. As always. Oh, he, he already got he already has it. Okay, he got it automatically. That's good. Uh, I am gonna also to give this to Katsuya though. I know you took it, Nobutada, but uh, it I think it's best if Katsuya keeps it. Mino and Owari are very good castles, so he doesn't need anything else. O although, this allows you to enter... Well... No, you can take Gujo Hachima and Sakurabora. And you can take Kairi Kumo. Yeah, much better. And now, you can keep this. Good. Nice, finally. Civil. Okay, I think we'll keep things like they are. Oh, except you. You will get the civil bonus finally. And you too will get the civil bonus. Toshie. I don't want to give him the civil bonus, actually. You get the civil bonus. Okay. Let's continue the campaign. Nice. Better guns. What's this? Absorb vassals. Yes, please. Yes. Oh, the West Sugi are tight, trying to retake that. The Mori. Oh, the Mori are invading us. How bold. That is very bold of them. Ask our vassals for help. Katsui will come to march at my behest. Ishiki. They're using the opportunity that I'm fighting in the east to attack me in the west here. Don't worry, after this invasion is done, I'll be able to focus fully in the west. And then you'll see. Right, I need to send some troops over there. I'd like. If my troops at Ise went there, but I don't think they will. That's fine though. I do have some leftovers here. Anyways, I need to look I need to pay attention here though. I just want these four castles. Three now. We conquered one of them already. Oh. Damn, this is a bit chaotic. There's way too many troops everywhere. Ah, 
All right, where is Nobunaga? I want to know where he is. Ah, oh, there he is. Good. Because he's the one that can trigger the battles. Oh, but I want, I want more troops to be in the battle. Because then I can eliminate them all at once. There we go. Eliminate Kagekatsu right now. All right. We have way more troops than the enemy. This should be quick. Go over there, Nobunaga. Now take the high ground. Take the high ground. Go back. We can trap the enemy right here. Yeah, let me, let me You're not the one that should be fighting. Chikamasa. There we go, we got the high ground, we're shooting arrows down. But you have to reach Let Nobunaga take care of it. Oh. Boom, level 9 muskets. Awakening! There we go, just like that. Ooh, we kill them. He is dead. He's not coming back. There we go. We, we caught the other guy in the pincer. This guy is also down. Kagekatsu. He may be strong, but he can't handle a triple pincer. Go, Hideyoshi! Hideyoshi is very strong too. Actually, Hideyoshi is stronger right now. He's going back, I see. Should be his main army though. I don't think he's gonna survive longer than this. Oh wow. The casualty difference. Alright. We're gonna take this up here. Let's 
still need to take Uozu as well. Yes, I consent. Go and help them. Clearly, the, the Takeda are in need of a lesson. There we go, Koyama is ours. One more. No, 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 we're not done yet. There's one more castle over here. We need. Uozo. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Ooh, they're fighting. Oh, but the Mori are losing all their their provisions. They won't be able to keep up this the campaign because they don't have the food. We're fine. We still have a lot of troops. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Defending that is going to be really easy then. I don't have to do anything special. I just need to hold them there, and uh, and they'll lose just because they don't have the 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 food the provisions to keep the campaign going. They'll all die of starvation. Wait, what? A, a siege? Oh, there we go. And now the Ishiki are mine. We've absorbed the Ishiki clan into our own. Let's see. Who? Someone with high valor. Because this is right in the front lines with the Mori. It needs to be someone with high valor. I guess you're the best I can find. So that's not reassuring. But it will have to be. Okay, that's decent enough, I suppose. Alright. I'm gonna give this to Mitsuhide. do this. Oh, there we go. That's even better. I'll release your officers. I'm not gonna do a truce. There we go. Because there's still one more castle I want to take. I'm gonna give this to Katsuya right now, so we can start protecting it. Oh, this is outside his range. All right, we have to change. Yeah, we have to change him to to Kanazawa then. Kanazawa is a good castle, so it's fine. Now that this is done, I can give him the castles. Right, this one. We can absorb another vassal. On. Just take it. Just take it. What's going on? Oh, all right. There we go. We defended Himeji Castle. That's good. You know what? Now I'm feeling confident. Now I feel like we we might be able to. We might be able to conquer everything that we need to conquer. I was expecting the Mori to, to cause more trouble than this, but they didn't. Because they didn't, they didn't take into account their, their provisions. We almost have that. We almost have that. Just 
a little bit longer. Come on, keep it going. Oh, there's so much hearsay though. What's going on in the in the Westsugi, which is the clan we're currently kicking their ass? Naoe Kagetsuna, a highly respected chief retainer of the Westsugi clan since the time of Westsugi Kenshin's father, Nagao Kamek Tamekage. But Kagetsuna did not have a son, so he introduced the suitor to his daughter, Osen, to adopt an heir. However, his son-in-law and successor to the Naue clan, Nobutsuna, was killed during a, qu a quarrel over a reward in their castle. Inside Kasukayama Castle. You called my lord? Hmm, it is about the Naue clan. I was saddened to hear of Lord Nobutsuna. Those responsible shall be punished, and I shall ensure that such things not, will not happen again in the future. It is actually something I would like to say. Wait, would you allow me to speak first? Oh, uh, of course. Please excuse me. Thank you. Kanetsugu, will you succeed the Nawe? Uh, what did you say? Seeing you so befuddled is a rare sight indeed. Ah, ah, oh, uh, for, please forgive me. In truth, in truth, that was what I wished to ask you. I hope to learn what would happen to the Nawe after Lord Nobutsuna's death. Hmm. Me as a, a successor? But what of Lady Osen? As if you even needed to ask. You shall marry her. Do you accept? Hi. Yes, my lord. Thank you very much. Kanetsugu's mother was the younger sister of Kaget Nawe Kagetsuna. Meaning that Osen was his elder cousin by three years. They had met a number of times since they were young. Oh boy, guys, you know what this means. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Yoita Castle, now a clan resident. Lady Osen. Lord Kanetsugu. Lady Osen, please accept my condolences about Lord Nobutsuna. But I would like to say something. Perhaps it is not something a man should say, but I will, I will all the same. I am glad this has happened. I have repressed these feelings for too long. But that was because you belong to another. That is no longer the case. I now can love you without reservation. I can protect you with everything I have. I swear, I shall never love another as much as I love you. And I shall not die and leave you alone. Lord Kanetsugu, you will listen to what I have to say. Ah, uh, my apologies. I spoke without considering how you would feel about all this. It seems I have forgotten myself this day. <laughs> it is quite alright. I feel the same way. I always wished somewhere deep in my heart, but I never thought the day would come. Lady Osen, I look forward to spending the, the rest of our lives together. Tall, handsome and well-spoken, possessed of fine features and a fine conversationalist beside, many records ascribe Higuchi Kanetsugu as being both handsome and kind. It is said that both from the day he became Naue Kanetsugu, he never took a concubine. There we go. But uh, Sweet Home Alabama though. Higuchi Kanetsugu's name changes to Naoe Kanetsugu. Naoe Kanetsugu and Osen get married. There you go. Heir to the God of Thunder. Ah. Finally, he was able to adopt Muneshige. Beki Akitsura, the hero of the Otomo clan, was ordered by his lord, Otomo Sorin, to take the name Tachibana, to which he would later add the first name Dosetsu. According to some, he was still able to contribute greatly on the battlefield despite half of his body being paralyzed, after he was struck with lightning in his youth, earning him the nickname God of Thunder. At nearly the age of 70, the warrior's only worry was the fact that he never had been blessed with a son to succeed him. The one man that he had often wished was his own son was Munetora, the eldest son of Jo Takahashi Joon. Dosetsu asked Zhoun repeatedly to allow him to adopt his son, but had never received his consent. Zhoun, won't you entrust me the boy to me? This is not only for the good of my family, I'm thinking of the Otomo as well. I'm 70 years old, I do not have much time left. If the Tachibana were to end, then who would support the Otomo with you? The Otomo cannot survive with only the Takahashi or only the Tachibana. This is the truth. Munetora is, the f is from the Takahashi family, so if he joined the Tachibana, the soldiers would, would be overjoyed and fight that much harder for the Otomo. 
I have a daughter by the name of Ginchio. Won't you let your son marry her and enter my family? How am I to refuse when you ask me so earnestly, Lord Tosetsu? Muretore is in your hands. Do you mean it? Thank you. I will not forget this kindness. All I ask is that you treat my son well. Use your experience and make him into a fine warrior and officer for the Otomo. I will do everything in my power for Munetora. Tachibana Dosetsu's daughter, Ginchio, had been named with the character Gin. That meant to listen with humility, in the hopes that she would grow to match her name. Having no other successor, Dosetsu had left his clan, castle and lands to her at only 7 years of age. Endeavoring to meet her father's expectations, Ginchio took pride in her position and developed the courage and martial ability to rival any male officer. I hear... I'll hear nothing more of the on the subject. Just listen to me. Munetore is a fine match for you. Please just meet him once. I know of him, but I will live as a warrior and lord of our castle. I have no interest in changing my path. Was it not you who set me on this path in the first place? I did indeed, but I believe I placed too heavy a burden upon you. If a man worthy of you were to appear, all a father could wish for would be for you to live happily together with him. I always thought that any possible suitor for you must be an even more talented warrior th than yourself. Munetore is such a man. In fact, he may even be more talented than I. More than you, father? It could not be possible. I speak the truth. This is the very man who I would have succeeded at Tachibana clan. You question my judgment? But... Just meet him once. I'm certain you'll consent once you see what sort of man he is. Takahashi Munetora was Takahashi Jones' eldest son and had proven himself as a brave and powerful warrior from a young age. You say I am to become more Dosetsu's heir? That is correct. You will marry his daughter and become as the successor of the Tachibana. Lord Dosetsu may be quite stringent, but there is much you can learn from him. Accept this blade as my farewell. Your sword. Thank you, fa- Do not call me father. We are no longer father and son. You are now the successor of the Tachibana clan. If the Tachibana and Takahashi ever meet in battle, you must lead your forces and cut me down yourself. B but And if you are somehow defeated by my army, you shall use that blade to take your own life. Yes, sir! I understand fa- No! More Takahashi! After being adopted by the Tachibana clan, Munetora took the name Tachibana Muneshige. With Jones' blood and Dosetsu's teachings, he would go on to be known as the Western Ace. There we go. Ta Takahashi Munetora's name changes to Tachibana Muneshige. Tachibana Ginchiu and Tachibana Muneshige get married. There we go. Hmm. Well, the Taker are helping the Westugi. I guess they do have a marriage alliance. Makes sense. Anyways, give me Uozu. Now reinforcements have arrived! Yeah, we took Uozu! Oh, Sanada Masayuki is about to arrive. It's fine. Alright, still go to defend Uozu. It's going to be, be attacked. But I'm going to give this to Katsuie. And that's fine, he doesn't have to conquer anything anymore. Assist my province now. There we go. There's no need to go to Kasugayama. At least the eastern section is all taken care of. Let's see. What else can I do here? Nothing more. I guess I could make him a general, but... Hmm... Why not? He experienced. Oh, okay, there you go, he left that one. We can go home, because now we have to worry with the mo about the Mori. Alright. Feels good. This section is dealt with. I mean, technically... Technically... 
we're still supposed to take over all of this. I think that will happen automatically, so I don't have to do anything. There we go. You may, you may have... Let's see, what else? Oh, Marksman. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, I see, I see... Mitsuhide is already attacking that. Good. I need to help them out at some point. I also want a castle here. Which one will be? I'm gonna make this castle be a resupply base. Usually I make it Arioka, but... Well, which one should really be best? Arioka, right? I guess Arioka is a better is a better one. I'll make Arioka a, a resupply base. No, Hanakuma is better. Yeah. Alright. We, we protected the Anega Koji clan as well. That is good. Alright, our economy is doing good. We, I guess we can... We can improve ourselves a bit more. What can I do here? What would be good right now? Western trade. Western trade is good. Dawn of Revolution. Yeah, why not? Dawn of Revolution. What else? What else can I get here? Mm, bodyguard formation. It will give me plus 10 attack for Nobunaga, so yeah. I'll do that. The Mori are coming to their aid over there. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to take Okishio, but that's fine. The Hatano clan is now ours. Hmm. Akayama Okon. And I'm gonna give it to Mitsuhide. Take it, Mitsuhide. Now we just need the Akai clan. The Akai clan to, to submit to us as well. Let's see, can I do any of these land things? Nijo Castle can. I think I'm gonna improve commerce. Oh wow, I can improve the commerce quite a lot. That is insane. Let's go, that's 300 more gold per turn. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, oh, there we go, Yasuke, finally! Yasuke comes to Japan. Oda Nobunaga was fond of goods brought from Europe, and often held meetings with the Jesuit missionaries at Azuchi Castle. Good morrow, Lord Nobunaga. I have brought someone you may find interesting. There we go, that's a wish Freud. Hey, it's him! He appeared, finally! And here's Yasuke. Oh, what a giant! He seems to have spent a lot of time in the sun! Is he from Portugal as well? No, this man hails from a land known as Mozambique. That's one of the theories, by the way. Nobody actually knows where Yasuke is from. Mozambique is like one of the theories where he may have been from. But we don't know for sure. Nobunaga was elated to see the black man who had been brought by the Jesuit priests. Standing at over 180 centimeters, the man looked strong enough to fend off 10 opponents at once. Nobunaga immediately gave him the name Yasuke. Because his original name is not known. What a fierce expression! He looks strong as well. Perhaps I could use him as an officer. Would you let, would you let him join my clan? If that is what you, my lord Nobunaga wishes. What do you think, Yasuke? I want to serve Lord Nobunaga. Ha! I like you, Yasuke. I shall raise you to the statues of Samurai. Serve me well. After the meeting, the missionaries toured Azuchi Castle in the town, 
Nobunaga also presented them painted folding screens and other gifts. And so, Yasuke, the foreigner turned samurai, became Nobunaga's loyal escort, fighting valiantly through even the Honoji incident. And then, he got captured and sent back to the Jesuits to become a slave again. And he was never heard from ever again. Which is so sad. He got to become, you know, a samurai at the service of the most powerful men in Japan. And then, tragedy strikes. God damn it. Yasuke becomes affiliated with the Oda clan. There we go. He's got a lot of valor. So if there's ever like an officer that I have that needs... That needs the valor. Like... Right here. Oh, right. Yasuke does not have the honor yet. Okay, then I, I need to. Because Yasuke can patch out the weaknesses of other officers. Where is... Where is Yasuke? Yasuke, 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 Yasuke. Yasuke. There you are. Very good. Very, very good. Actually, wait, did I have more space? Yeah, I do. Hachiman. Alright, there we go. Yasuke. Let's see, how's my... Oh, uh, actually my... My, my... 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 Ah, what's the name? I'm forgetting the name. They're doing better. Oh, Danebo Ban. He's got a lot of power too. My provisions are doing good. That's the word that I wanted to say. There you go. Oh, actually no. I'm, I'm gonna keep doing more land measures. The land measures are amazing. There we go. Can I still improve commerce in Ijo? Oh, I can, still can. But what if I improve instead crops? I, I should probably go for crops because what I need right now is an army. There you go, that's a lot of troops. Nijo is a great place, so. Battle of Mimigawa. Ah, finally it happened. The Otomo are finally going to attack the Shimazu. Or well, maybe the Shimazu attacked first. The Otomo and Shimazu clans, the two daimyo of Kyushu, had split the region into north and south. The Otomo clan claimed the position of Kyushu official and drove both the Ochi and the Mori out of the north. The Shimazu clan wiped out the Ito and conquered the three southern states of Satsuma, Osumi and Hyuga. Both clans traced their lineages back to the vassals, to vassals of the Kamakura Shogunate which may have been the subconscious reason why they had avoided direct conflict with one another despite their notable differences. However, this would soon come to an end. The Ito clan, after being destroyed by the Shimazu, requested assistance from Otomo Sori, and now both clans had set their sights on Hyuga. The Lord's grace must be taught to the savage Shimazu. We will win this war and send our missionaries to southern Kyushu. My lord, but I believe we should remain focused on the battle before us. <laughs> the Otomo had crossed the Mimigawa River and encountered the vanguard of the Shimazu army at Takajo Castle. The following morning, they, morning, they crossed the Om Omarugawa River and launched a full-scale attack on the Shimazu clan. However, they had fallen into a trap. Everyone, charge! We have lured them into our trap! Make them think twice about ever challenging the Shimazu again! An ambush! Everyone remain calm! Trust in the Lord's protection! But the Otomo were crushed and forced to retreat back across the Mimigawa. Many of their soldiers drowned in the desperate scramble. Normally, I would take no pleasure in attacking a fleeing enemy, but the Otomo are a different matter. Advance! Those who rule in defiance of reason and abandon the way of the bow will receive their deserved punishment. Press forward! Destroy all remaining Otomo troops! I will kill Sorin with my own hands! This sweeping victory, though unplanned, boosted the Shimazu clan's reputation while setting the Otomo clan on the, on the course of gradual decline. There we go, an hour done of revolution is maxed out. Very good. 
can add a shrine over here. That's not a shrine, that's a church. Alright, things everything is looking good over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Westsugi were driven back by us. We can absorb more vast. Wait, the Tokugawa. We're not supposed to absorb the Tokugawa. I'm not gonna do that. Not the Tokugawa. I mean, I guess it doesn't... No, 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 no. I'm not going to absorb the Tokugawa. That's historically inaccurate. Let me absorb these guys instead, the Kuroi clan. I mean, the, the, the Adachi clan. So many promotions. It's because we're getting a lot of honor. Because of Dawn of Revolution. Very good, very, very good. Hmm... Oh, Honda Masanobu? Wait, 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 wait. There we go. And then we can improve more commerce over here. Nah, I really need to focus on crops though. Not Tokugawa. I refuse. Ooh, that's a good officer. That's a good officer. We can also add the range over here. Uh, no, we can't. No, we can't. Oh, nice. Good job, Katsuye. Oh, I see Mitsuhide is preparing for an invasion. Good. I like when my officers are proactive. Alright, we're, we're gonna march too. But I wanna march upon them instead. There we go, that's much better. We're gonna get the Adachi clan now. Let's see. Almost done here. We're almost done developing the all, all of Azuchi. Most likely Mitsuhide is going to attack Okishio. I will attack Takeda. Oh, there we go. I'll be right behind you, Mitsuhide. Yeah, my economy is doing good. Perfect. Oh, our economy is doing so good. A truce. There won't be no any truces with them. No truces. We die. There we go. The Adachi clan is ours. Moritahe. Yeah, he's a good officer. I'll put him there. Although... Kambe... Is really good too. I want Kanbei to be used, so. Let's get more substitutes. You're a good officer. Join me. Actually, most likely, there's like a bunch of places I should appoint. I'm just gonna auto appoint. Because now we have a lot of officers that we can utilize. Mm. This guy is almost dead, isn't he? Let's see, can I can I finally finish that development of that one county? Yes I can. That will boost our crops overall. More money. 
Oh, what's going on? The Okie disturbance. Sometimes allying with the surrounding clans, while at other times engaging them in bloody battle, the coterie of pirates in Mishima known as the Murakami Suigun control the islands of Noshima, Kurushima, and Inoshima. The Noshima Murakami Suigun, longtime allies of the Mori clan, skirmished with the Oda navy in an attempt to gain control of the Desetochi Sea. The confident pirates were rattled after their defeat at Kizu Kizugawa Guchi. We underestimated the strength of the Oda navy. I would never ex have expected a cr such a crushing defeat at their hands. Time saved by the Oda clan. We of the Kurishima intend to join them. What? Ah, but of course, the people of Kurushima are quick to change sides. Your father, Lord Takehoshi's regrettable bond with the Mori clan means he will be unable to take such measures. No, this may as well affect the very future of the no Noshima Suigun. I must try to convince my father. But Murakami Takeyoshi was steadfast. The Noshima Suigun had lived under the powerful influence of the Mori clan ever since the Battle of Itsukushima. Takeyoshi himself had once thought to go against them at the invitation of Otomo Sori. However, after his plan was discovered by the Mori, who had then cut off his retreat, he was hesitant to repeat such a mistake. Listen to me, Motoyoshi. We've cast our vote with the Mori. We'll not so easily abandon them. Whatever you say, father. If you insist, I'm willing to die alongside the Mori. Takeyoshi had instead convinced his son not to leave the Mori. And Motoyoshi was unable to convince his father. I suppose I'm not so surprised. Even if it has alone, the Kurushima men will still join the Oda. The splitting of the Murakami Suigun became known as the Okie Disturbance. The Noshima Suigun stayed with the, with the Mori, while the Kurushima, Kurushima Suigun joined the Oda. This event would have lasting effects, effects on the history of the Setochi. Of Setochi. Ooh, here we are. It's August. August will be the final day, the final year. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hanbei's, uh, Kanbei's son finally came of age. He's 15 years old, ready to, to go into the battlefield. <laughs> Kuroda Nagamasa, he's got the shovel, look. The shovel helmet. It's not really a, sh a shovel, it's meant to be a s the slope of a mountain, but uh, it's funnier to call it a shovel. Yeah, I'd, li I'd really like to be able to take over Okayama until then, because supposedly the Oda managed to conquer all the way until Okayama, and then Hideyoshi is like laying, laying siege to Bichu Takamatsu. But nice, me too, he they managed to take Okishio. Nakamatsu clan is gone. Also, where, where is the Koshu Conquest? Akamatsu Hirohide changed his name. Hirohide was the son of Akamatsu Masahide, lord of Tatsuno Castle. He was known for having changed his name many times throughout his life. From Hirohide to Hiromichi to Masahiro and so on. The Akamatsu clan was once known for governing over several regions, playing a vital role in the Muromachi Shogunate as one of the Shi Shishiki families and providing many aids to the Shogun. Since war has erupted, however, the retainers Uragami, Besho, and Kodera have replaced us. Nary a trace of our family remains, nor me, nor of me. Even bearing the name Akamatsu brings me immeasurable shame. Immeasurable shame. Perhaps I ought to change my surname as well, given as, as my given one. From then on, Hirohide became Saimura Masahiro, naming himself for Saimura village in Hirai of Harima province, where he had once lived in seclusion. Having thrown the Akamatsu name away, along with its extensive history, the man wore a complex picture of torment, resignation and relief on his face. Also, I feel like there's an event that's supposed to happen that also didn't happen. Where's the Koshu Conquest event? Wait, I'm dumb! Sorry, I am an absolute idiot. Idiot. Wait, Josokabe's way. We've seen this. It's fine. Wait, why? Why is this not playing? I feel like there are things that. Whatever. Um. Horseshoe conquest. What do I need to do this? Oh, never mind. It will just happen. In February. 
Because otherwise, I guess I would have to lay siege to the Kiss of Fukushima. Go. Church commerce. There we go. So so ni shiageneba. Okay, um that's not it. Wow, that is a lot of commerce up. Alright. Motoaki Takeda. Takeda Motoaki, I mean. There we go, finally, Koshu Conquest. After his overwhelming defeat at the Battle of Nagashino, Takeda Katsuyori rushed to reorganize the clan. He moved away from Tsushigasaki Palace, a long standing symbol of Shingen's era, and erected Shinpu Castle in Irasaki, where he worked to consolidate his power. However, some retainers still held to Shingen's focus on the, on the people as the most important aspect of a castle's rather a castle rather than its defenses, and were unhappy with the newly built fortress. Even Katsuyori, Katsuyori's brother-in-law, Hiso Yoshimasa, possibly in outrage at the use of forced, forced labor in building the castle, changed the allegiances to the Oda clan. Seeing an opportunity, Oda Nobunaga ordered a large-scale invasion of Koshu. My lord, it is word that Lord Tokugawa's schemes have toppled Tsuruga. <laughs> Suruga is Anayama's domain. They are they are kin to the Takeda, yes? Indeed they are. This would appear to be the end of the Takeda. Yeyasu will likely proceed to Kai after Suruga. Azumasu, you will assist John Osuke and move along the Shinano row. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> it seems the weight of the Takeda name was too much to bear for Katsuyori. I wonder how Nobutada will fare with the, with the Oda name. I shall have to see for myself. Oda Nobunaga appointed his son in law. This is, this is false. Nobutada, Nobutada was not his son in law. Nobutada was his eldest son. By blood. With his second wife. So, this is dumb. This, is a, this has to be a mistranslation. Oda, Nobutada, Oda Nobunaga appointed his eldest son, Nobutada, as general and, with Takigawa Kazumasa's assistance, began the invasion of Koshu. With Tokugawa Ieyasu coming from Suruga and Hojo Ojimasa from Kanto, the Takeda clan soon found itself beset on all sides by enemies. Yeah, like, Nobutada is the son of Nobunaga and Lady Kitsuno. You know, he's the eldest son of Nobunaga. Like, it's by blood. Come on. What the hell, game? Who made this translation? Anyways, Koshu Conquest. Kisu clan, Daimyo Kiso Yoshimasa is formed. Kisu clan becomes a vassal of the Oda. Kawauchi tribe is adopted by the Oda clan. Oda clan occupies Ida castle. Oda clan occupies Takato castle. Oda clan occupies Wehara castle. Tokugawa clan occupies Kambara castle. There we go. And just like that, we have all of this. We're not done yet. We need to destroy them completely. Like, they need to be destroyed. Completely. How do we destroy them completely? Before bad things happen. Take the clan annihilate. Hmm. Less than five castles. Okay, I see. This. Ah, uh, this one is not gonna happen. We, I'm gonna have to show you guys this event then. The flooding of the Ta of Takamatsu Castle. Because the Ukita clan is not here, unfortunately. Yeah. Hmm. Also, this is a typo. Uh, okay, this is afterwards. But the flooding of the ta of Takamatsu Castle, I need to show you guys this one. If this one doesn't happen, I also have to show you this one. Takeda Clan Annihilated. Ready to die in battle. Um, okay, that's fine. 
Alright. So those are the events that can happen. Five castles, eh? Hopefully Yasu will take care of the Hojo kinda of in interfered here. Yeah. The the events over here will not happen anymore, so actually I'm gonna shift my focus. And I'm gonna Oh I can't, it's too far away. Never mind. You can absorb the Anegak really short, fine, that's fine. Um, I want to give that to Nobutada. Actually, technically, this territory belonged to Takigawa Kazumatsu, was given the territory. Maybe I should give it just to him. Hmm. What to do? What to do? We're, we're at the end game for today here. There are some things that I wasn't able to do exactly as they should. Let me see. Which one is the best castle? Takato Castle is the best. So that's where I'm gonna put. That's where I'm gonna put, um, where is Takigawa Kazumasu? He was the guy that historically, you know, was in charge of that entire area. Although, let me see, station, senior officer, senior retainer, Takigawa Kazumasu, Takigawa Kazum. Actually, I think Takigawa Kazumasu is with Chibata Katsuya. So never mind, that's not gonna happen. That's fine, I don't have to do things exactly the same way. Hmm. So I'm, I'm gonna give that to someone else. Actually, I can just auto point everything. Let's see. Can I make a province? I can't. I cannot make a province. Alright. You will be in charge of that. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I uh, tell Katsuya that he can invade Hoshu. Plan, capture castle. No, he can't. What about Nobutada? Can I make Nobutada do it? This is where postal system would have been great. Postal system increases the um, your sphere of influence, but the problem is it's uh, it's very expensive. Watch the amazing G digital circus yet? I don't know what that is. So probably not. Unless it's something that I'm not remembering right now. Ah, there we go. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the Takeda Clan Annihilated, unfortunately. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to show you guys that, that one. After all this stuff. There were way too many vendor... Uh, I mean, variables in this... Um, in this particular scenario, that's why. We have a very large clan though, holy shit. Oh, another. I have so much money. Wow. I'm richer than ever. Alright. I feel very tempted to just defeat the, the Takeda, you know? Let's see. Now, I'm going to attack the Takeda. Take Toishi. Province, Oda Nobutada. Yeah, you can join. Nobutada, join. Atsuie. Nope. Mitsuhide, stay. 
てまいるのだ Again, we can't do the, we can't do the, the events of the Mori anymore, so I may as well try and do the, the Takeda events. There's only one, one event left. I want to see if I can do it. There you go, the Anega Koji clan is ours. Which technically isn't supposed to happen, but you know. Details. I'll give it to Nobutada. Wait, there you go. You keep it, Nobutada. <laughs> Nobunaga the Benevolent. <laughs> that is funny. That is very, that's very funny. Ikeda Sen. Otani or... I guess it doesn't matter. Bestowing titles doesn't matter anymore. I have so much money! Holy shit! I have so much money! Alright. Let's see. Silver trade, that's good. Musket activation, up. My batteries are running out, oh no! Don't worry, our, uh, this stream won't last that long anymore. <laughs> We're re like, our end goal is August. That's where the big thing happens. But that will be for the next stream though. The big thing that will happen. It will be just like a dream. Anyways, let's see, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something, I forgot. Right, since I, I enacted the postal system, I believe that... I think I can give more territory to Nobutada now. Right? No, maybe I didn't enact the, po the postal system yet. Or maybe the postal system isn't enough. Ah, uh, why I hit... Okay, it didn't affect me that much. I mean, it affected me somewhat. There we go. And I guess in the meantime, I guess I will work on my crops a bit more. Wait, I don't think I have officers for that. Never mind. We don't need to. I want some of you to attack Kashi. I should probably set Iwamura as a, as a resupply base, but I mean, now it's kind of too late for that. But I really should have done that. Well, I can still do... Hmm, the roads are not very good though. What's going on? Hey, that's not ha supposed to happen yet. Wait, are you doing it now? Wait, don't tell me it's gonna happen now. Wait, wait, is this the cutscene that I think it is? Okay, yeah, no, this is spoilers. This is spoilers. Wait, but it's not... It's me all oh, May to June. Wait, is it really? No, 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 this is not supposed to happen right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get it. No, this is not supposed to happen now. No, this is too early. Wait. No, stop. 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 <laughs> Please select a clan to keep playing. Wait, this is spoilers. You are Nobody's no supposed to know that everything breaks. Hashiba, Akechi, Oda, Shibata. <laughs> Holy shit. You sp this was way too soon. This was one month too soon. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? No, this is not supposed to happen now. Ugh. I love his voice. <laughs> Anyway, this is not supposed to happen now. Stop! This is spoilers! This is spoilers! What a mess! Oh! 
fault. <laughs> Look at this mess. What a mess. This is such a mess. Also, yeah, forgot. I put the, the Date theme as the default theme. What the... What the hell? <laughs> what a complete mess. Japan is broken. <laughs> Anyways, well, I guess that's it, everyone. I guess that's it. I'll show you the scenes that we missed. The, the, the Takeda are supposed to be completely annihilated before this happens. Alright, I'll show you the final scenes. Tomo uh, not tomorrow, the ne next week we'll see. We'll see the whole Noji incident properly. Nobunaga's death. <laughs> the number one blob <laughs> in a guy who burst the deep. Nobunaga's death will be next stream. Anyways, we'll, we'll be following Toyotomi Hideyoshi from that point onward. Anyways, let's uh, let's let me show you what we what we missed. All right, not here, not here. It's a bit more down here. Katakahara. Now yeah, okay. Now we're getting close. We're getting close. Nagashino. Tomo Palace, Kizugawaguchi. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Igawa, Aschi. Shikoku, Tabe's way. Actually, I think we're supposed to see this one too, no? Nani o de shokana? Ah, this. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's read this. We haven't seen this one. Is something the matter, brother? What is the reason for all this clutter? There has been little time to clean with all the fighting. I shall communicate that all things are to be put away, away when not in use. No, that will accomplish nothing. Label everything with the name of its owner. Its owner's name, you say? That will ensure that no one mistakenly takes someone else's belonging. And if someone, if something is mislaid on the battlefield, its owner's incompetence will be known. In time, people will learn to treat their tools with their appropriate respect. Oh. I will see it done at once. My brother always seems to take note of matters that slip me by. He considers his ally's strengths just as much as his enemy's weaknesses. No ordinary commander could get the better of him. In, indeed, the practice of writing one's name on their possessions, now seen in every classroom, was first developed by the Chosokabe during the Sengoku era. Likely as a result of Motochika's meticulous and modern knack for command, the Chosokabe clan star was on the rise in Shikoku. I don't know, I don't know if, that, if that was actually the origin of it though, maybe it was in Japan. I feel like that would be a very no normal thing over, over the world though. Anyways. We also didn't see this one, Sanada Nobushige's coming of age. Sanada Masayuki's second son, Sanada Genjiro Yukimura, had come of age. Oh, hey, why are you calling Yukimura? You should call him Nobushige. Nobushige is his name. Sanada Nobushige. Yukimura is a, is a romanticized name he was given in the Edo period, right? But he was called Nobushige. I, I set the names to be historical, not, not famous. God damn it. No one knew at the time of the red-hot resolve burning within, within, within him that would lead him to the very top of the nation. For now, Sanada Yukimura had only just begun making his way through what, through that warring world. Sanada Nobushige. Anyway, let's see. Uh, we've seen this one. Now your clan. Okay, we didn't see this one yet. Ready to die in battle. Tokugawa, actually, never mind. We've seen this one last stream. We saw that one last stream. Koshu Conquest, there we go. Takeda Clan Annihilator. This is the one I was trying to make a see. Because it would cause, like, the, the complete destruction of the Takeda. The Takeda Clan had been utterly defeated by the Oda, Oda Tokugawa Coalition Army. With more and more tribes leaving to the side of the enemy, the head of the Takeda Clan, Katsuyori, prepared to flee with his family. But he still had an important decision to make. Should he escape to Oyamada Nobushige's Iwadono Castle or Sanada Masayuki's Iwabitsu Castle? 
Because his wife's family, the Hojo clan, was closer, Katsuyori decided to go to Iwadono Castle. This would prove to be a fatal decision. My lord, the enemy is attacking! Gah! How have they already made it this far? We must hurry to Iwadono Castle. Wait, my lord, the Oyamada army is, is with the enemy. Lord no Oyamada Nobushige may have betrayed us with, for the Oda. What? Even you will turn against me, Nobushige. Uh, this is not the same Nobushige that I was talking about, by the way. Morning. Then they have all rejected me. They say I am not the head of the Takeda. Not even a member of the Takeda. My lord, you must flee. We shall hold the enemy here. Ah, but of course. You all have always accepted me as the leader of the Takeda, even here at the end. Very well. As leader of our clan, I shall, I shall open my, my own belly as... So as not to bring further shame upon my own name. Yeah, I can't read. My lord. Using the time earned by his, his, his retainers, Katsuyori looked for a fitting location where he and his family might take their own lives. He made for Temmokuzan, the place where a leader of the Kai Takeda clan had once ended their life. Katsuyori's son, Nobukatsu, and his young second wife from the Hojo clan also ended their lives there. His lady's po death poem read, This chaotic world, soul-like tangled strands of air, no source and no end. Our lives are missed at the dawn, fading away in a trice. I'm sorry everyone, for the Takeda name ends here on Tenmokuzan. Forgive me, father. And so the Kai Genji Takeda clan, the great house that traced its roots to the Heian period, was brought to an end. Yep, that is it. The Takeda clan exists today, but it's not the same branch. It's not the Kai Takeda, it's the Wakasa ta Takeda. And those are, have nothing to do with these ones. They're from a different part of Japan. Let's see. There you go. Then we have this one here. Flooding Takamatsu Castle. This is important for the next stream. Hashiba Hideyoshi continued his campaign against the Mori clan as the commander of the Oda forces in the Chugoku region. But a powerful force yet stood in his way. Because by the way, the conquest of the Mori was given to both Hideyoshi and Mitsuhide. The two of them were the main generals taking care of the Western Front. Hideyoshi was doing the, most of the gains though. Protecting the strategic location of Bichu Takamatsu Castle was Shimizu Muneharu, a great general widely respected for his principles and who had served both the Mimura clan and the Mori clan in turn. Knowing full well the folly of a brute force attack, Hideyoshi attempted to entice Muneharu by offering him Bichu and Bingo provinces. But Muneharu gave the notion that not even the slightest con consideration. Although the Mori forces were inferior to those of the Oda clan, Muneharu held the front lines. However, his chief retainers were often dispatched to make certain nothing had gone amiss. Even, even great Lord Mori grows concerned, eh? Worry not, as long as I, Chozaemon, am here, the likes of Hashiba will get nowhere near the castle. While I am of course worried for the castle, our Lord is more concerned about you. Well, I cannot simply ignore a comment like that. Does he think I would betray him for the Oda? Of course not. The enemy general, Hashiba Hideyoshi, is known for his skill in taking castles. The other officers would be shaken to their core if the great and honorable Lord Shimizu were injured. You need not worry about that, I assure you. I will show you how I dismantle these Hashiba's tactics without so much as breaking a sweat. Should a castle somehow fall, I, Shimizu Muneharu, shall end my life in penance before the people of the Mori clan. It is that very impulsivity that worries me. You have always been quite the stubborn one. Please do not think to go down with the castle. The enemy is a clever man who is extremely versatile in his tactics. I hope they will keep an open mind, that you might adapt to whatever they, they throw at us. I will consider your advice, though I never thought to learn a warring, to learn warring from a monk. Please take your leave. I have spoken out of turn. If we are relying on you, my lord, please take care of yourself. Yeah, he has finally gone. That monk should have to know his place. I'll trounce, trounce the likes of Hashiba without even, even without your worries. Meanwhile, in Hashiba Hideyoshi's camp, that Mune Shimizu Muneharu is quite the stubborn man. He will not respond to, to any of our invitations. 
It seems there is no need for further petty tricks. We must begin planning the capture of the castle. Taking that castle by force will prove difficult. How would you take it, Kabe? Well, what of making use of the Ashim Ashimorigawa River that flows near the castle? You mean to use the currents to bring in lumber from upstream in order to build a frontline base? That would not go well. Not a base, but an embankment. A large one on the south side of the castle. An embankment? Hmm, then you would flood it. That castle does lie in a lowland. Flooding would certainly be possible, but would it be effective? I have heard tales of such tactics being used in other lands, but never in Japan. Actually, even though it was a small, small in scale, it was used some 20 years ago by Rokaku Shote. Nothing is impossible, it seems. The rainy season draws close. If we were to build a solid levee, levee to the redirect the Ashimorigawa, Takamatsu Castle would become an island. Hmm... It may be worth a try. Very well, Kanbei! If we're going to do this, let's make the largest embankment we can. This flood shall go down in history! With the construction of Hashiba's embankment, the water on, of the Ashimorigawa and the heavy rain turned Takamatsu Castle into a veritable swamp. Inside Takamatsu Castle. This is terrible! We cannot call for reinforcements with this much water! We must find a way to communicate with the Mori officer! Who could have imagined that they would choose such a partial strategy over a frontal attack? Farcical, I mean. And that monk Eke spoke the truth! I may be his enemy, but that Hashiba Hideyoshi is magnificent! <laughs> this is no time to be laughing, we cannot fight like this! We have no choice but to surrender! Do not be a fool! I cannot simply hand over the castle that the Mori left in my safekeeping! We must inform the Mori of our situation! Reinforcements will come! We must do everything we can to survive until then! It will be a context of endurance! Outside the castle, Hideyoshi's camp. To think that our plan would go this well! Well done, Kanbei! Thank you, my lord. Even if reinforcements from the Moria clan were dispatched, they would be unable to approach. The fall of the castle is only a question of time. It better not fall too quickly! The jealous grumbling from the other officers would never stop! And shall we request reinforcements? I give in the honor to another who could avoid their envy. As true as ever, Kanbe! I shall do as you say! Send the request that our lord come as soon as he can! As a result of Hideyoshi and Kanbei's plan, Takamatsu Castle found itself in a terrible predicament, which served as a fitting metaphor for the relationship between the Oda and the Mori. However, before this battle was concluded, an event would rock the entire country. But that will be for next stream. That will be next stream though, that event that will rock the entire country. The end of an era. The end of the first unifier of Japan. And the beginning of the second unifier. Nobunaga's ambition will come to an end, and so will begin. The, his ambition will be inherited by Toyotomi Hideyoshi, still now known as Hashiba Hideyoshi. But uh, that will be for next stream. I'm very excited, you know. You know, it's sad to see Nobunaga go away next stream. But you know, uh, it says Nobunaga once said, a man's life is but 50 years. I mean, he died at 48, but still. Regardless. That will be it. We actually finished the whole the whole um, scenario today. I, I, I honestly don't even know how I was able to stream this long, because I was kind of sleep deprived. But somehow, I guess I wanted to stream so much today, that I, I, I was able to power through the sleep deprivation. Because I haven't been able to stream that much, and I, I want to stream more. <laughs> but yeah. Still... Next next week there will be more. Next week uh, next next week there will be more. So yeah, let's actually let me see what 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 we have next stream. It will will begin like the biggest scenario I think. Yeah, we'll have the like a dream scenario. See, here's the the Ukita that were supposed to be alive. Here's all the territory the Oda had. See, I, I left this place alone. Oh really? We took Sumoto. Uh, Nanega Koji are supposed to be here. See, we had all of this. 
all of this. The Sanada were here as well. We are able to conquer... Oh, we didn't have to conquer Ozo after all. Interesting. Very interesting. But anyways, but as you can see, the Take don't, don't exist anymore. It's all... Oda clan. Anyways. And I will have to play... From this scenario... To, to, to Seki Gahara. Which will be very interesting. Uh, we won't be able to do it in one stream because it's too many years, you know. We, we did five years today, by the way. So, like, we have 18 years to play through. That's gonna be a long time. But still, though, it's fine. We'll get through it. Eventually, we'll get to the Battle of Sekigahara. Uh, this will be a lot of fun. But yeah, with that said, thank you guys for coming. This was a lot of fun. I always love playing this game and streaming. I... I I, I've just been having this urge to stream more as well. I think it's the me being away from my channel so much because of uni is really making me, you know, realize, damn, I really like streaming and content creation. I want to do more of it. I'm, I'm missing it, you know? I mean, I'm still, like, working on it, but not not having the same frequency in things, you know, makes me miss miss it more. <laughs> but hey, I I'll, I'll will endure. Once my semester is done, I'll make things more frequent again. Yeah, I'll try. At least. But yeah, thank you guys for coming. I'll see you next time. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye.